Welcome everybody to Spirit of the Island. We are back with Spirit of the Island. It's been some time since the last time we've been here. Actually, it's been since early access when it first came out in early access. If you're unfamiliar with the uh, Spirit of the Island, it is another like farm life RPG kind of uh, game. This is another game that was actually funded through Kickstarter too. So um, it's nice to see all these cool ga cool games coming out on uh, through and being supported through Kickstarter. That's one thing. Um, this game has recently went into full release and I haven't revisited it since full release. I've only played it since it was early access for like the first couple of weeks. So there's been a lot of the things that have changed since the last time I played. Um, and I'm willing to revisit it and see where it has gone. So if you want to see Spirit of the Island, stay on the channel and me continue through Spirit of the Island. Um, please make sure to hit the like button. Comment down below if you're watching this in the replay and, um, you know, let me know if you want to see more. I'll be glad to bring you more. Other than that, we will be starting a brand new save. Brand new save. Even though we were on day, we were really on day 44. <laughs> oh my God. Um, we will be starting a brand new save all from the beginning. Uh, just in case there's people out there that don't know this game and they can, you know, go through it together i guess or we can go through it together so let's do that right new game here we go let's do it uh name your person this is cans the property name uh <laughs> uh cans topia of course uh town name shoot okay property name not cans topia property name forehead Fortress. I can't put the last S F. Forehead Fort. How about that? You like that? Uh town name is probably gonna be Canstopia. Living in the region of <laughs> I always freeze up on these types. Uh living in the region of I'm just going to see something from the comment or from the chat. Let's see here. Anybody got a region name? Anybody have any ideas for a region? Let me know. <laughs> Say Belleville. Fantastic. There you go. In the region of Belleville. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Should I be yellow? <laughs> Should I be green? Should I be purple? Kind of reminds me of the Smurfs a little bit. No, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with the uh, with that. Um, hair. Nothing seems to have changed since the last time I played. That's all right. No, we'll do that. As far as like hair and cosmetics go, that's that's good. Um, eyes really not like too too like. That looks like we look like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves a little bit going on, kind of, maybe. That being okay. This is that's a mood. I'm gonna do that one. Um, oh, yeah, right. There's a uh, backstory to this, too. So you can have a childhood in the game mode, I guess. Well, the game mode is going to be easy or normal. Honestly, we're going to be playing on normal. Um, but you can have like a backstory, right? A childhood backstory or sorry, a villager backstory, a survivor backstory, a foodie, a popular kid, a builder, a collector. Um, and this, I think, does something. Right? So, for instance, villager, you love everything about living in a rural area and take joy in looking after a farm. Your animals mean a lot to you, while manual la labor never brings you down. Everything I like about this, manual labor, kind of hurts. <laughs> uh, survivor, you know how to fend for yourself and learn to identify edible plants and gather resources all the way back in school. Forging and exploration are your strong suits. Booty, cooking is your art and spices are your palette and brushes. Uh, you are always busy coming up with new recipes and can prepare a hearty meal from anything found on land or at sea. Popular kid. As a kid, you always enjoyed the company of others and they responded in kind. Numerous adventures with friends have since forged your personality. I've never been a popular kid in my entire life. F. Uh, this might be my shot. No? Builder. There is nothing you can not craft or fix. You love building stuff and then destroying it in spectacular fashion. Imagination and logical thinking make you a force to be reckoned with. 
Collector, you are fascinated by everything the world has to offer. Food, people, animals, challenges, and even danger. Your aim is to live your life to the fullest. Honestly, I like Villager. Tutorial? I think so. Uh, just because it's, it's been a while since the last time I played. So that's that's why. How's everyone doing in chat? How you doing? How's it going? Game Station, Flip. How you doing, Flip? Ainworth, Auntie Meow, Luis, how you doing? Yeah, Pamela, Kayla, what's going on? Autumn, how you doing? Ellie, how you doing, Ellie? Q, what's going on? How you doing? I'm going grocery shopping. Hope to see you still on when I get home. Very well. Enjoy your grocery shop. I know your parents did their best for you. Uh-oh. I should probably read this. Hey, Susan. Hey, Can Can. Don't worry. They will always be waiting for you. It's time for them to rest while you start your own journey. That's my parents. That's mom and dad. There's so much to see. That's a whale. And even more to discover. Spirit of the Island. Kayla says, I've actually never heard of this game, so it would be nice to see you play it from the beginning. Oh, very good. Good shout. It's today Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Hey, Violetta, how you doing? Happy Friday, everybody. I lose my days. I lose track of my days. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. It's going to be kind of cool because, like, I don't remember a lot about this game. I know, right? Believe it or not. I don't remember a lot. So it's going to be kind of like learning it again and exploring the, the town and the people. Oh, and seeing all this good stuff. But I am interested to see where it takes us as far as, like, with the um the the full release and maybe there will be people that have played this game and be like oh you know that's new or this or that or yeah remember this or that but you know uh, the boat is gone at least i am on the right island i think uh excuse me did we just show up in that boat this seems a little dangerous so tutorial welcome to the bella <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the bellaville region this is a quick guide to get you started very well uh, your character has basic human needs, hunger, thirst, and rest. Keep a close eye on your status so you don't slow down due to starvation or exhaustion. Uh, one last hint before I let you go. Explore the island and interact with objects so you, when you can. Very well. As your first task, try lo uh, locating your home. Okay, we know where the home's at for, you know, at least that. We, we're, we're not too, like... We, we know where the home is at. Wow, that I don't remember those, like, arrows being there. Did, is that new? So... Wow, that lightning strike. Okay, let's let's just kind of like follow along. Let's follow suit here before we uh, get lost in the sauce. What is this? Uh, follow the road north to reach Kansas land. If you go south, you will reach the pier. That music is like very peaceful, is it not? I barely hear it, but I, I can hear it. It's very peaceful. This is the way to our farm. I feel like those arrows are new. <laughs> I don't remember those arrows. As you can see, there are many places to discover. Every time you stumble upon a new location, you will gain experience for your exploration skill. There are numerous other skills to unlock and upgrade, too. Alright. This is our farm right here. Yeah, this is our farm, indeed. Hello? Uh, good to be here? <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this must be the place. Looks messy, but at least the house is in one piece. I wonder why my parents wanted to come here. All right, I'm settled in now. Now, or I'm settled in now. I should look for the elder, the one in charge of this local town. Perhaps I could use this to get started. It may be a good idea to find something to eat and drink soon, then get some rest. Well, let's get that later. Let's get that sorry letter and take a look around. I should also explore the town. There we go. So this is your home. It is a bit rusty and dirty now, but in time you will be able to upgrade it and set up a new furniture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you can build your own farm, open up shops, and much more. Work hard, and it will become a popular tourist destination. Oh, very good. Very good. Hey, Zombie Slayer, how you doing? Hey, Fungus Head, how you doing? Hey, yeah, Gaming, how are you doing? Taking a nap is a good idea if you get tired. You already have a bed, so remember to sleep whenever you need some rest. Sleeping will also save your progress. A good night's rest may even grant you a positive buff where your energy will replenish at a faster rate for several hour hours. The same happens if you eat a good meal, as your health will regenerate for a while. Now, if you haven't done so already, get the wood axe, the shovel, the watering can, and the pickaxe. Those are all important tools for constructing your own buildings and getting work done. With time, you will also be able to upgrade them. Okay, uh, give me that. 
hammers. Hammers can be used to repair other tools. Hammers themselves can be crafted or purchased from a trader. Very well. There's a watering can. If your watering can runs out of water, you can get more water from rivers and lakes. Very self-explanatory, yeah. Uh, iron shovel. You sh uh, shovels are used to dig for treasure or to collect dirt and plant your crops. Okay, plant crops with the shovel. I got to get used to that. No hoe. No hoe involved. Um, axes are essential and can chop down trees or even destroy some objects if you uh, don't want them anymore. You can craft axes using a workbench. Just make sure you have the right materials. By the way, as of the recording of this stream, uh, I will say this. If you are interested in this game at all, I believe the game is like 30 or 40% off right now on Steam. So just bear that in mind. And I don't know I don't know how long that sale is going to be. But for right now, if you're watching this live or watching this day one on the replay, um, it is like 30 or 40% off right now. Pickaxes are the only tools that can mine minerals and destroy rocks. Some stones are only possible to destroy with dynamite. But we'll talk about it later. You can craft pickaxes using a workbench. Okay, well, that's a lot. Up in the top left-hand corner, we have a uh, very hard to read uh, text saying learning the basics collect resources 15 stone looks like farming basics collect dirt from the crops that's four and discover your origin visit cans topia and talk to the elder very well um i think we can just like yeah 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 kind of like get this stuff going like get this out there we go we don't want that stuff to hurt us i believe that stuff can hurt us too there we go good <laughs> Uh, I'm excited since tomorrow I'm going to do an Alice in a Wonderland themed outdoor escape room. Oh, that sounds very good. Yeah, that sounds very good. No? There we go. And we do have a chest, too. They gave us a chest. I need some kind of key to open this. I, well, I guess not a chest that we can actually use for ourselves. Uh, let's see here. Can we use... Oh, we can use that. Oh, very good. Okay, let's pop that, please. But we need to get 15 stone, which we might be able to get from this uh, stack of stone as it is no there we go that's 21 stone absolutely <laughs> all right very cool i feel like i need to like do this game a little bit of justice here and add the music can the music be turned up a bit hey darlene darlene thank you very much for the uh membership how you doing take a load off too how you doing my lord darlene very generous of you then welcome welcome to uh Welcome to the membership club thing. <laughs> I appreciate the support nonetheless. Thank you, Darlene. Hope you're doing okay. Yeah. Hey, Fries, how you doing? Hey, Queen, how you doing? I mean, I'm just going to naturally pick up this stuff. Just because it's sitting here, right? Uh, no, pop this, please. Thank you. Thank you, Darlene. That was very kind of you. There we go. Okay, we need duct tape as well. I think we can craft duct tape with, like, fiber and stuff, if I remember correctly. There we go. Let's see. Let's go to here. Rope, duct tape. Yes. Plant fiber and fat. Uh, we need five of them, please. I don't have enough. I have enough for four. That's all right. We can get some more. I think we get that fat and stuff from these thorny uh, bushes, if I remember correctly, as well. Yeah, you definitely got to keep an eye on your weapon or your tool durability. You got to keep an eye on your hunger your your energy kind of something that you wouldn't normally have to keep your eye on uh with in in games like this now there is difficulties right i am playing on the normal difficulty i don't know if you play on the easy difficulty if that means you don't have to worry about food water and all that so if you're the kind of person that's like i love this but i don't want to have to like worry about um you know like food and water i think there might be might be an option where you don't have to worry about it at all so just keep that, bear that in mind. I am playing on technically the normal or the hardest difficulty you can play on right now. Uh, wooden planks. Do I do that through here? Oh, look at that. A gift of flowers. Do I do the wooden planks here? I do. What do I need for that? I need a wooden log. Very well. <clears throat> Let's go get a log, shall we? I should probably even like fix my uh, hot bar down there too. It's a little bit kind of crazy. Yeah. This is a very peaceful kind of easygoing game for sure. For sure, for sure. There we go. I need... F how many? Five? We'll make six. There we go. When you craft things, uh, things don't instantly appear. Um, they do take time. As, for example, uh, when I craft my planks, it's going to take X amount of time for it to be done. So, just bear that in mind that you will not be able to craft things instantly. 
you have to wait a little bit of time. Some things take longer than the others, some things don't, you know? It, de it really depends. Yeah. Hey, Kelly, how you doing, Kelly? Hey, Susie T, how you doing, Susie T? There we go. Learning the basics. Very well. So, now they want us to get dirt. Uh, I guess that's one thing we could do. Um, I do want to plant a few things. And I don't know where I want to plant it at. Because um, I do have seeds on me right now. My bag is full. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, yeah, so we do have... Whoops. Most of the food organic spoils over time. Yeah, so food does spoil over time too. You can find items while foraging, interacting with the environment, destroying objects. Some characters may also sell them to you. Yeah, so this is our inventory space right now. It is very, very full. We can, we can increase the storage, uh, you know, over time. But look at the stats here. This is kind of cool. This is cool stuff. I have $50. Thank you. Uh, level 1, experience, health, stamina, poison, hunger, thirst, fatigue, well fed, well rested. Uh, foreigner. I am a foreigner. Damage, defense, all these different things. Uh, clothing options that have, uh, you know, some sort of stats to them. You have charms and things like that. Uh, and this is the skills, which is very, very helpful. You can learn many skills and unlock new items and recipes as you level up. Most skills are action-based, meaning that you need to use said skills to improve. For an example, getting better at cooking requires you to cook more meals. Uh, and this is very important. This is something you should always kind of like remember or remember to do because uh, very, very important stuff here. Um, for instance, uh, one star means uh, chicken coop. Now, I, I'll be real with you already level one or i don't maybe that's where we start at i i don't know <laughs> i guess so i guess that's what we've done so far uh this is the messages tab uh this is the uh, map itself take a look at that hey yeah you'll be able to travel to the other islands too in this game so uh, that will be discussed later on the calendar will show you all the important dates and events of the current month every year consists of four months um so you can always attend and miss an event and go to the next one so for instance this person uh, this obviously their birthday. There's an event uh, coming up in spring. I, they don't really say which season is season. They just say this is a month. There's four of them. Good luck. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, let's see here. And I, you know, to be fair, we are on an island. So check all the important moments. You know, this is your diary type thing. Uh, this is your relationships. I do not know what relationships and how relationships are in this game. Um, as far as like, can you marry people? I am very, I don't know if there's romanceable options in this. I am very unaware with that. So, but there is a relationship tab. Uh, finances. This window helps keeps track of your finances. The daily tab is updated every, with every new transaction. Monthly and yearly tabs will change depending on your shops, vacation houses, and trades. Yes, your shops, your vacation houses, and your trades. Yes, keyword, yours. Yes. So there you go. Uh, income, outcome, balance, and your staff. Yes. Keep that in mind. Um, hire staff to help maintain your property. Yes. To do so, you need to craft a con uh, contract. You need to craft a contract at a office table, then build a staff house. Once all that is done, hire a tourist by giving them a contract. Overall, we want people to visit our island. That's the whole uh, giddy up there. These are quests. Uh, this is the quest tab, very self-explanatory, right? Learn the basics, we get reputation out of it. Reputation, reputation, and reputation with Tala. So a few things there. Uh, this is our stats. And things like that. Treasure, quest completed, fish caught, etc, etc. You get the gist of it. Now, I do want to try to, like, see how this works. Can I actually, like, switch or, like, quick slot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I wanted this to go to two, do I do that? Oh, no, that's just my hotkey. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I'll, I'll, I think I'll figure that out eventually. Uh, so one thing I would like to do is maybe if I can... Uh, you know what? Let's go inside the house. Let's do that. First things first, go inside our home. We haven't done that yet. Yeah, we haven't done that yet. Uh, clean this... Oh, God, this looks way different than what it did before. Wait a sec. Did I... Did I drop all my stuff? Where did all my stuff go in the hot bar? Maybe there's only certain things we can have and not have in here. Don't bop the TV. There you go. Bop that. Thank you. Bop the box. Well, I guess we can bop the TV. It has a giant hole in it. There we go. 
Mm-mm-mm. Hey, Gordon. How you doing, Gordon? I always did enjoy stir-fried pork. What are we... Were you already talking about food? We just started. I haven't even, like, done the food yet. How you doing, Neverly? I did find the controls a bit tricky in this game, especially building certain things. There we go. This is a little bit weird, no? I feel... I, feel, I find this a little weird. I'm sure maybe there's another way to do this. But... Pickaxing trash in my house? Not what I expect. But let's get rid of the trash just so we have the bed. Now, I believe in the early access version, um, we had like a two-story house. I believe. I believe. I can't break the only bed I have. Well, that's interesting because uh, then that kind of tells me that maybe you can't move it. Oh, no. You can move it. Yeah, you can probably move it. We'll get rid of this too. This is taking a lot of energy out of us to, uh, you know... Pickaxe a TV. I guess if anybody's moving, you know, just note that doing that will, uh, yeah. Uh, now we could take a nap if we really wanted to. It's 2.25 p.m. We are not running on the 24-hour format. Now, one thing also is, like, um, you can't, like, I, what, wait, time out. What is happening here? Quick slide. One. Click quick slot two. What what what's happening with the hot bar here? I one <laughs> one okay two there we go uh well three okay four okay five okay uh seven okay and we'll do apples on eight. There we go. Okay. Don't know what I just did, but I did do it. All I want to do is like have a drink of water. I cannot pick up the water bottle. That's fine. We'll have like a little bit of um, food as well. <laughs> all right, there we go. Very good. All right, so I, we'll hold off, I guess, on the dirt and all the other things because we don't have the inventory to do it. Let's go ahead and finish, like, I guess, discover the origins of Canstopia, and maybe that will unlock some other things. Yeah. You love this game? You just bought it? Well, very well, Game Station. Hey, Nicole Black, how you doing? Hey, Makiki, how you doing? Ah, oh, Tony. Hey, be careful. There are some nails on the ground. I'm trying to fix the bridge, and I didn't, I don't know what happened to it. Sorry for not looking at you. Uh, if I drop this now, we may have a bigger problem. Tell you what, if you bring me some materials, maybe I can finish faster. What do you think? And then we can chat later. Okay, I will help you. As soon as I have the materials, I will bring them to you. Thank you. This will really help us. Very well. Okay, what, do you, what, what exactly do you need? You want wooden planks and you want rope. Easy enough, I can do that. Wooden planks, rope. Super easy. I've been on the fence about this game. Glad Kansas playing it so I can see if I really want this or not. Full release still looks a li little bit clunky. Some of the things in here kind of just don't make sense. Uh, as far as like the hot bar and how complicated that is. Still seems to be a little bit. And I remember it being that way when I first played the game. Um, it, it seems kind of like what the frick, you know. But, you know, if you can look past it, I'm sure you, you, you probably can find something good, right? Yeah, one thing I do want to do is like make a uh, make a chest. Let's go in and get another piece of uh, log going here. Thank you. <laughs> there are some pre-release videos. Oh yeah, yeah, some pre-release. I was watching the other week. So not showing the game myself. Art style throws me off. Oh really? The art style. The art style throws you off. That's an interesting take there. <clears throat> How much is this game on Steam? Great question. If somebody can find that out, I would really appreciate that. Thank you, yeah, game. I appreciate that. I didn't see the ones you said before. If you said tips one you said before, I probably most likely didn't see it. Uh, let's see here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We want... Not firewood. We want rope. We're going to need plant fiber for that. So a little bit more wood wood planks, please. 
you know what let's confirm as much as we can yeah let's go for 14 we'll do that and then we'll go out and do this plant fiber plant fiber gives us wheat as well i guess you can get like this is one thing that would really make people kind of seem like what the heck's going on here like it's super easy to get carrot seeds wheat seeds just by cutting grass okay we're gonna need like to take a nap soon what time is it 4 30 let's see if we could like just like cruise in for a nap real quick like three hours what would that nah might as well sleep the whole freaking night away two hours we'll do that there we go wake up is it nighttime now it is nighttime we'll pick that up though there we go and then we should have enough for rope which will be four rope one two three and four send it there we go and I don't know if Tony is still at the bridge, but if he is, we'll go there. Thank you. Appreciate that. $24.99 USD. So $24.99 USD. And I, like I said, I believe the game is 30 or 40% off right now, too. Oh, my God. My bag is full. This is one thing that can uh, kind of irritate you as well <laughs> in the early game. Um, let's go medicinal leaves. Honestly, we probably don't need all that right now. Let's just drop that and let's pick up the rope and let's go. I know it just got super dark. I apologize. I'm just going to go see if Tony's still there. If he is great. If he's not, that's fine. We'll, we'll see him in the morning. You can sprint in this game. That's a nice thing. It's a toggle sprint. You don't have to hold it down. So that's nice to see. Uh, Tony, I got what you need, buddy. Did you find the materials? I did. Here they all are. Awesome, thank you. I will be able to speed this up. Get some rest at home. I'm sure you can pull it off tomorrow. All right, nice. Well, there we go. Hey, oh. The player avatar looks so kiddish, I guess. Yeah, that kind of. It reminds me of like a like a claymation type thing, though. No? Reminds me of like a claymation. Damn the medicinal leaves. <laughs> you can already see that. Um, you know, we're already having inventory problems. All right, so can I just, like, sleep until the morning? Give me 10 hours of sleep, I guess. Huh. Keys can be crafted iron from the mine to unlock chests. Any chests you unlock can be used for storage. Okay, very good. Okay, cool. That sounds good. So once we unlock that chest, we can use it as storage then. Very good. Level up and reputation boost. Game has been saved. So the bridge is done, right? The bridge is done. All right, so let's not worry about all this stuff and let's go to Tony right away and see how this is. I wouldn't have thought this game would even be 25. Oh, uh, some. <clears throat> Help you with commissions later. Very well. Oh, I should probably sprint. Yeah, there we go. Let's go talk to the people of the village. No. The game is currently on discount for 33%, which dropped the price down to 1939 Australian? Australian, is that right? Ah, the music changes to like a piratey theme, no? I believe you can get fat from those thorn things. And I remember there was like a quest or something later on that I had to like, or something rather I needed to get a bunch of fat for. John, hey, hello. I don't remember you being here before, but my memory is not as good as it was once. What can I, uh, what can a little old man like me do for you? Uh, nothing really. I'm Kaz, just trying to get to know everyone here. Ah, yes, yes. My name is John. I'm, how can I put it? Someone that likes to live a simple life. I don't care too much about stuff. You can find me near my tent. I like walking down the beach and watching the ocean. Remember, if you have a spare coin sometimes, uh, I'm always here. Very well. Can I give you a spare coin? No? Good chat, my friend. Let's catch up sometime. Alright, I was going to try to give you a spare coin. Uh, did you decide if you were going to try Harvestella or not? Uh, well... I get, the only way I'm going to try Harvestella is if I got a key for it, but no, I, I probably won't purchase it myself. Let's see here. Hey there, Cans. I need a few items from my workshop. I need one silver ore, an iron bucket, and a pack of screws. Can you find these for me? I will not do that because I remember doing the quest log when I last played. 
and like you couldn't like cancel a quest so i'm not gonna do that that might have changed already but i'm just for just for the sake of it and just for like being safe i'm not gonna do that uh oh this is like the town hall i believe too i believe right or maybe not this is the school sorry i'm gonna go into the school walk into the school with a machete f not what i want to do Why, hello. Who are you? I don't want to talk to the children. I want to talk to the adults. Hi there. Are you a tourist? It's been a while since I saw one. Are you hurt? Can I help you? No, I'm good. I'm not a tourist. My name is Kans, and I am a new citizen here. I just moved in. Ah, I'm glad you are You are okay. So, you are new in town. Welcome, welcome. My name is Elizabeth, and I run the small clinic in town. I like to help everyone I can. The bad news is, is that we don't have tourists anymore around here. I mean, sometimes they come, but just a few. In the past, we had a lot of people coming here, of course. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but they help the town grow, you know? Anyway, I need to look for my husband now. Take care. Oh, very well. The music's nice though. I do like the music, I will say. This is like the little workshop, yeah? Like like this, this kind of reminds me of like a Ratchet and Clank kind of art style. That that building there. Just the building does. It reminds me of like Ratchet and Clank. <clears throat> I like that you can choose from several responses. Yeah, that's a good that's a good little feature, no? Look at this house. Looks like a child's house. <laughs> Basketball hoop. Messy bed. Uh, mini fridge with a crooked uh, kitchen set thingamabobber there. That looks like a child's house. Mm. Can you do more streams on Dragon Quest Builders too? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Oh, look at the cat. Oh, look, it's a witch. I thought that was like a freaking... I didn't know that was someone. <laughs> you can't even see their face. All I see is a cat on top of a on, on top of a hat, I guess. Or I thought that was like a pillar or something. I don't even know what the heck that was. A new face is a Hermie. A new face. Hello, I'm Hermie. And I live in, in a house behind the woods and beyond the town. Yes, I like magic and stuff. And as you can see from my clothes. Very well. And you, who are you? I've never seen you around here before. I'm Cans. I, I arrived not so long ago. You know, still learning about the town, getting to know everyone. Ah, there is not much to see. The town is small, and the tours we had before are not coming back anytime soon. I don't care how much how much about it, though. My life doesn't depend on the tourists. One of the things I know is that everyone needs something. Our town was totally dependent on tourism, but now we are doing almost anything we can. Anyway, I, can, I hope you can find what you're looking for here. Good luck. All right. Very well. New diary entry. Oh, that's a new diary entry right there. Hello? The house... Wait, is this a jail? <laughs> Alright, I guess that's a jail. Alright. The, the buildings look so massive on the outside. And then you walk on the inside and it's like... Very small. That looks like a bar. Hey, Shorty. How you doing, Shorty? Packing for a vacation. You're packing for a vacation? Where in the world are you going? This is the mayor house, right? This has to be like the mayor house. It's all big, bad, and bougie. Hello? Tala. Hello, my child. It's good to see a new face on our island. My name is Tala. I hope you like stories because I have so many of them. Very well. I know how hard it is to begin a new life in a new place. That's why you can come to me and talk whenever you want. What is your name again? Thank you. My name is Kans. I'm still getting used to changes. <laughs> it's good to know that I can count on you. <laughs> you may look a bit chill here, but I always end up with some uh, good stories to share even at my age. So you finally came. Your parents talked to me so much about you a few, a few years ago. Look at you now. I'm so proud. You know my parents and who I am? Oh yes, it is your first time on the island, but I am afraid there is a lot for you to learn. I will explain 
I will begin by saying, uh, your parents are not really your parents. Uh-oh. At least by birth. We all know that the real parents are the ones who love and care for their child. Children. Anyway, wait, whoa, what? Wait, time out. Wait, what? Wait, what? The frick did you just say? At least by birth, but we all know that the real parents are the ones who love and care for their, for their children? What? Are you suggesting if parents that don't give birth to a child can't love them? I, we all know that real parents are the ones who love and care for their... What? You were found on a beach called Blue Shell Beach, southwest of this town. Visit there when you have time. And in your belongings, which was not much, uh, there was a bottle with a message inside and a note on the outside. Wait, there's a bottle? Yeah, that one. And I remember very well that the note said the following. Learn the story of the world and the six elements. When you find the right place, you will be able to open the bottle. At the time, the meaning of those words wasn't clear to me, but later I understood it all. You need to learn and read about the story of the world. And I had and I had with me and I had with me years ago the three ancient books that could tell the story. But someone stole the books. I am all, almost sure it was those pirates that started attacking us a few years ago. You should start looking around on the islands where the pirates dwell. I know this could be dangerous. Okay, I'm sure you have some questions. Let's hear it. Where can I find these pirates you are talking about? I think almost all islands have pirates. But there are three big ones with a pirate village on them. It's dangerous there. You can see them on your map. You will need a boat to get there. The bigger the boat, the farther you can go. Talk to our captain if you need boats. <clears throat> okay, I'm sure you have some questions. Let's hear them. Um, why didn't my parents say anything about this to me? <laughs> they wanted to protect you, that's all. At that time, they were living here with us. I told them that I could help you understand your past when time comes. And here we are. There is really not much I can say now. Okay, I'm sure you have some questions. Let's hear them. No more questions. That's it. Yes, I know it is a lot to think about. My suggestion for you, try to live your new lifestyle if you want to discover your past. That's actually optional. The present moment is more important and your parents took good care of you. Here you go. Uh, I guess here you can make some friends and, me, and I even could get some help. And I even could get some help from someone young like you. We need someone to build a new marketplace for us, you know, to help the town become a good place for tourists again. The pub is in need of food and drinks. The workshop needs tools and materials. Our guard needs some weapons. And there is much more work to be done. If you introduce yourself to everyone, I am sure they will start asking for help. They will probably leave letters at your house asking for what they need. But also, if you talk to them directly, I'm sure you can find out more. And of course, you will be paid for your work. Okay, move on with my life, build a marketplace, talk to everyone, get some work, make friends. Got it. I will think about all this. <laughs> Very well. There's a lot uh, for you to digest. Try to get to know the town and take your time. Just remember to have a good life. Very well. Mm -mm. She's just saying the ones that parents were not blood. What is this juicy gossip about the tallest spew on us? Hey, Amanda. How you doing, Amanda? Hey, Leanne. How you doing, Leanne? Where are the de developers from that usually influences the aesthetics and stuff? Yeah, I don't know where the developers are actually from. Yeah. When you play a game, do you research about the game before you play it? Or do you get straight into the game and you learn along the way? Um, if you're asking how I do it, uh, yeah, no, I don't do any research on any of the games. I, I play just because I give a very um, realistic feel of the games. If I were someone who just bought this, it bought a game off Steam and I started playing it, you know, I try to learn how to play it as if I was, you know, someone like yourself or whoever, right? First time playing it. Um, just so you can get like the full on like experience of me questioning things. Um, me questioning gameplay mechanics, things that people would do on their own, questioning things. If I just jumped into a game where I'm like the expert, um, some problems could come up that some people don't know how to, you know, how did he know how to do this or how did he learn how to do this, right? Things like that. Okay, let's go to the beach, right? 
Okay, we're going to leave a bunch of bottles just lying around, I guess, until we get storage. <laughs> I would like to plant some wheat, too. Maybe that's another thing I can do as well. All right, let's go to the um, go to the beach first, though. Hey, crazy one. How you doing, crazy one? <clears throat> It'll be a while before completing the book collection quest since it involves traveling to different places. You don't have to. Okay, very good. Don't have to make it a priority. Very good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Did I pass the bottle? It said by the boat. Oh, wait. By the boat wreck. No. Are we an orphan or what? I'm confused about what she said about the found us on some beach. You can still refill your bottles. Yeah, we got to definitely keep the water bottles for sure. I'm pretty sure they said to like find the bottle, right? Oh, South Pier. There's the South Pier. Um, the South Pier, if I remember correctly, this is where you, the um, tourists do uh, end up coming. Are coming through hmm, looks like a pier used to be a dock uh, to dock boats and maybe do some fishing but it is in pretty bad shape I can ask around in town someone should be able to help I remember my parents telling me about this place and how it used to be uh, it used to attract lots of tourists so tourists will usually arrive at the pier via boats the higher your fame the more tourists will come to visit your town they Buy items and objects from your property, so make sure to put some goods for sale. Even the most insignificant item can sometimes catch a tourist's eye, motivating them to pay a large sum of money for it. Do not forget to renovate your island. Impressed with decorations, tourists are more likely to spend even more. Uh, lately, some tourists may be willing to stay a while longer, so if you offer them a job, they can work and live on your island. Just remember to pay their salary and provide them with food, drinks, and a place to sleep. My god, that's a lot to provide a worker. <laughs> Imagine if your job provided you with food, drinks, a place to sleep, and money. I'm sure, I'm sure we all would be just on cloud nine now, wouldn't we? Hmm. <laughs> Look at the frogs. I don't remember those colorful frogs. Yeah, I don't remember them. So let's see here. I mean, one thing we could do, right, is try to make a key. So we can get that chest, right? I think a lot of people... Uh, I think I remember when we played this last time. A lot of people were like, I'm so upset that I can't make a storage. I can't make a chest to put my stuff in. I think a lot of people were upset. I remember that um, when we last played. Treasure map. You can actually make a treasure map? That's kind of cool. Uh, hang on a sec. Let's see here. Uh, how would one look at their skills? Yeah? Very well. So right now we have a building that we can build a chicken coop. Now wait a sec. It's because, look, you have to pull out the hammer, right? Hammer. How do we do this? Isn't it like you build it with a hammer? I'm not sure. Maybe not. I remember the hammer playing a part in this game, too. Let's see if we can at least get some kind of, like, harvest going on here in the background. Okay. Or not. Don't you plant that for the uh, seeds, no? Use the shovel? Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Christy. How you doing, Christy? Chopping. Would you ever try Disney Dreamlight Valley? I play it on my own time. I don't play it uh, on the channel. I have I, I like Dr Disney Dreamlight Valley. That's just a game I just want to bring to the channel is all. Master key. Oh, so you can actually make an entire master key. Iron ingots and a pack of nails. That's exactly what we would want to get. For sure, for sure. <clears throat> Let's go talk to everybody. I guess that's one thing we could do. Well, it's already wait three. Okay, I thought it was eight p.m. Let's go to, the, let's go talk to people. Maybe that will give us something, or you know what? Hang on a sec. This will probably progress it. Let's do this. Let's do this. What we'll do is we'll drop like plant fibers, and we'll pick up the dirt since I know that's what the game's wanting us to do anyways. We'll do that instead. Okay, farming basics. So we got that taken care of, right? So. Good job. 
Good job. Farming basics. Now, I don't know, you know, plant your first crop. I mean, even when I clicked the dig, right? I thought, like, it would, like, because you need the shovel, right? To, to, to dig the, to make the uh, crops, yeah? Or to be able to uh, plant the crops, yeah? That's what the game said, no? <clears throat> oh, B, that's what it is, B. Is that what it is? Thank you, thank you, B, that's exactly what it was. See, this is things, this is exactly what the game doesn't tell you. Um, you would hold the hammer if you wanted to build something, and you would press B. The game doesn't tell you that, straight up. But when you're in this, like, first, um, like, and there's a lot of cool things you can build, too. Don't get me wrong. Like, farm crop, the thing that we need, right? Unless it tells me in that whole entire, uh, hang on, let's actually do it back here. Unless it tells me in that, like, quest log, like, oh, you gotta press B to do this, right? People don't necessarily read the entire quest log, Right? There was like a little prompt that came up and said, oh yeah, you know, um, press B to, you know, do this. There we go. Not a lot of people would know that. There we go. Now we go like this. Water. Perfect. Good job. All right. Nice. And then I guess if I wanted to, uh, I could build another one, right? For how much dirt? Four dirt. There's avocado trees. There's chicks. There's piglets. Chicken coops, things like that. Lampshade, sidewalk. Now, am I able to get a little storage? Garage. Oh, look at that. A scooter. A quad cycle. There we go. Wooden chest. Iron ingots. Wooden planks and plant fiber. So there we go. Pick up my plant fiber. And then we can make a chest. Again, something that people wouldn't necessarily, like, you know, uh, pick up. For the first time when playing this game for the first time <laughs> so pull out the hammer make a small chest that would save us a lot of time no but the chest right there there you go look at that hooray and then we use this and we transfer all this stuff over boom 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 and oh, we'll do that Put all this building stuff away. There we go. There we go. See, look at that. <clears throat> hey, Metallica fan. How you doing? <laughs> now it is 5 p.m. I think I could be like, like, you know, so you know what? Let's get it. Let's see if I can, um... Talk to some more people. I'm gonna eat a little bit of food there. First time around, we didn't realize we could plant fruit trees, my lord. See? <clears throat> as long as it's in your inventory, you can repair and build very well. There's so many different uh different so many games getting released in November makes my head spin. I'm right there with you. I feel you on that. Absolutely. Don't forget to name my storage chest. What should I name it? <laughs> should I just name it Junk? <laughs> yeah, last time I made a... St I, I think I made a staff stall. Um, I made a staff stall that I couldn't make... I couldn't hire anybody because I think that's where the early access had gone to. Or it like, was like on the brink of it it was like very buggy so i did make um i didn't make a staff building you could say but it wasn't working at the time last time i played can i go into these people's houses at night yeah i guess so hello what are you guys staring at you guys aren't staring at a tv if you need something i will be here very well hello child alina Hey, you. Are you lost? If so, you could find one of my maps around here. You know, those things with st uh, stuff drawn on them. Made of paper, you know? Huh. Why are you making a weird face? <laughs> Thank you, little lady. My name is Gans. I'm new here, so I'm still getting used to the town. Uh-huh. I see. Welcome to our town, Canstopia. 
I mean, come on, the place is named after me, right? I may be small, but I learn fast. One day, I'll make a machine to get out of here. I mean, I like it here, but it's boring. I want to see what the world has to offer. Make new friends, study, go on adventures, make robots. I can tell uh, more anytime. By the way, my name is Alina. See you later. Very well. <clears throat> I organized mine into multiple chests named materials, plants, seeds, ores, and ingots. Very well. I think um, Tony runs this, no? I think Tony runs that, that, that shop. Pretty sure. Ah, who are you? Oh, you're the... I remember you. Diana. Halt. Who goes there? Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm Kans, and I just moved into the neighboring island. Please, there's no need to fight. <laughs> ah, you're the new person then. I'm so very sorry. I knew someone was moving to the island, but no one told me when that would be. Once again, I hope you can forgive me for my behavior. I'm Diana, and I'm the town guard of Canstopia. I knew it is no it is no excuse for my behavior, but I was trying to keep the island safe. And as we aren't having many tourists lately, when someone appears out of the blue, they're generally up to no good. Well, I should get back to patrolling. It's a pleasure to meet you, Gans. Once again, I'm very sorry for associating, or sorry, accosting you like that. Very good. <clears throat> New diary entry. Probably meet Diane. She pulls a sword out on me. Something like that, right? Yeah? Heck yeah. I like this game visual, but the UI looks very small to watch. I just squint my eyes for the tutorial quest. Way up there at the top, it does look it does look very small. Now, I don't know and I haven't tried yet. Maybe I can try. I haven't tried uh, seeing if there was like a... Um, you can even change it to 24 hour if you don't want the AM PM. Um, if there was like a text size thing, doesn't seem like it. There's controller support, I think. Yeah. We don't think there's like a ooh, auto auto drag items. Interesting. I was going to see if there was like a, um, you know, make the UI bigger. Yeah. I nearly cans kebab. That reminds me of when we played kebab simulator. What was that? I forgot that kebab simulator game. We played a kebab simulator restaurant kind of game. I think we did like a let's look at. Nothing like fast food manager. Fast food manager. <laughs> There's a playlist of fast food manager. In that series. Gets a little heated. <laughs> that, that, I get a little heated in that one. I will say. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so with the uh, water intake, empty bottles and things like that, I guess we're, we fill up our water bottles in the ocean, or do we do it? Do we have a well here? I don't know. Hopefully, it's not the ocean because that would break immersion. Unless we live in freshwater ocean, which damn near no. <laughs> I can guarantee. Okay, lettuce seeds. Farming basic. Collect lettuce seeds. All right, so we need lettuce seeds for tomorrow. Go 10 hours. Yeah, that's my problem. Ocean water is not drinkable. So if the game tells us to do ocean water, then I will be, uh, I will be concerned for the least. Oh, there's fresh water to the right? Okay, very good. Hello. Since you are new here, I wanted to explain a few things about our town. I hope you find uh, your accommodations agreeable. Every month we, help, we hold several events. And as you know, people do slowly grow old. Try to remember other people's birthdays and I'm sure you will make plenty of friends. If you want to participate in major events, go to the town center and check the large bulletin board. Hope to see you there. Ah, right there. There we go. There's the fresh water. Um, this we want to go. I get this is the one thing that that's kind of crazy. Put this at seven is having to do that. Thank you. Did we only get three bottles? I guess we only got three bottles. <clears throat> Whoops. Let's see if we can find more lettuce seeds, I guess. 
Gonna water our wheat. Hello? Water, water. I guess we could find lettuce seeds through the grass, right? Potato seeds, look at that. You can get like every single type of seed uh, just by cutting grass. And I remember last time I played, people were like, what? Why in the world? Like beet seeds, broccoli seeds, lettuce seeds. Look at all the seeds. Like people were like, wait a sec. Why would I be able to do this? And I kind of agree. But it's more to it, I guess. The game is not solely based on farming. I think is what the answer is to that. I don't I don't I think farming might be one of those kind of like backseater things about this game. Cuz there is more to it when you start to uh experience or sorry, explore uh new islands and things like that. So, yeah. Let's go here and build. I would like to build another farm crop. So I need some dirt. Let me get some dirt, please. Hold that thought. Am I dumb? Because I see spring one, but I don't see the actual day. Is there no days? Like day one or Wednesday? Um, The only closest thing that you can get is this calendar. And I don't think there's actual days. No. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, not like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of thing. <clears throat> this game feels like you should have a pet dog following you around. I kind of agree. A lot of games I support on Kickstarter have cats involved. <laughs> I think it's Stardew Valley. I think Stardew Valley gave you the option to have a cat or dog, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it was always like that, though. I know Harvest Moon, you only get the option for a dog. Okay. And then let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess, really, plant some potatoes. There we go. Potatoes have been planted. Another hit of potatoes. Not going to be organizing this because it's already hard enough to, like... Put this stuff in my hot bar, right? Unless there's a way to swap my hot bars, like Q or R. Whoa, not that. Um, I don't know. This seems a little tedious doing this back and forth. There we go. Carrots. There we go. Carrots. Cauliflower. Uh, beets. And then just a little bit more dirt. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Hey, Natasha. Natasha says, first time catching a stream. Love your videos. Been catching up on the wildflowers. Heading back to work, so I'll be lurking and working. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Natasha. Throwing out the working and lurking and possibly smirking. Love that. Thank you. Good to see you, Natasha. Build this. Damn. Okay, that. Damn it. <laughs> it doesn't work. And neither does me standing in the way either. But yeah, no, seriously though, I think the game just su I, it just suggests to me that farming is like a backseater. Uh, type thing in this game just because look how easy it is to do all this okay, Let's go here water there we go mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm trying to remember how the mining went I think I remember how the uh, combat system went in this game um when you went to different islands it was kind of something so we can make a uh, chest right well we can make a chest that's full of just seeds we could do like a seed chest or something 
small chest. What is that? Uh, wooden plank again. Okay, wooden plank. I need some wood. Let me get some wood. Let me get some wood. We have like these broken fences that we could take down too, but I'll just get the trees for now. How's someone not smirking while lurking when you said that? I know, right? <laughs> now I have all these freaking seeds. Good God. I do have the planks, don't I? Bring back the planks, please. Uh, hold that thought on the wood and the apples real quick. Now I need the, oh, damn, I need the plant fiber, the one thing I put away. Oh, okay, put the uh, worms away. Give me that. Go like this. And then hit me with the, uh, nope, not that. Hit me with that, thank you. Put it right there, perfect. And then inside here, we'll put all of our seeds. And anytime we need seeds, we'll get the seeds. There we go. Very good. <clears throat> get some apples. Wonderful. Drink a little bit of hydration. Eat some apples. Now, you don't want to cut down all the apple trees because then you have, like, no apples. So, like, you can go around and shake the trees, I'm pretty sure, right? If I remember correctly. There you go. Yeah, give me that. Give me that apple, baby. Uh, after, off topic after following you for so long and being a member, I finally joined the Discord and just want to say y'all are sweet welcoming people in the Discord. Oh, very good. That's very good. I'm glad you joined the Discord and, uh, in and, and, like, continued the conversation, I like to say, yeah? Hell yeah. Great stuff. Good stuff. Hey, Suhiko, how you doing? Hey, William, how you doing? Play this game all the way through? No promises there, William. <clears throat> is there a skill tree in this game well there's a xp kind of thing yeah there's an xp but it all like look right here this is what it is this is the xp and you get your xp bar and you fill it up and then you unlock these stars and these stars give you something for instance um level one for farming we have building a chicken coop is available level two will be building a barn for cows and sheep and then unlocks basic sprinklers which we actually would be really nice to have sprinklers yeah Now we could go into the mine shaft 100%. I guess look at that. Or maybe. Or maybe, baby, we can go to the beach again. We need to build a furnace. That's another thing the game wants us to do as well. Ooh, flowers. I want to pick the flowers, but I'm not sure. Maybe. <clears throat> there we go. Can I jump the fence in this game? I know you can jump. You can jump in this game. You can jump really high in this game. Ah, all right. Look at that. Very good. All right, let's see. Build a furnace. Let's see how we build a furnace. We're probably going to need stone, right? What else are we going to need? Look at this. A freaking refrigerator and stuff like that. Um... Furnace, furnace, furnace. Where we build the furnace. Look at all the different grass types, too. Another thing that some people uh, did not like before is, for instance, you build a farm crop, right? But in this game, certain things, for instance, if I build grass, it takes plant fiber. But also, at the very top, it also takes coins. So some things require crafting materials and some things require crafting materials and money to be able to make just keep that in mind some things are like that not all things uh, a basic furnace 15 stone and wood planks now do i have enough stone 15 stone i do have enough stone 
Can I like do 15? I can't like put the exact number in there. Okay, we'll do that. 15 stone. We're gonna need a little bit more wood planks. I found that out the hard way the last time I played with the whole like money thing when crafting things as well. <clears throat> hey, Lean, how you doing, Lean? Guess I'll wait for this to get done. In the meantime, I need to get... Oh, that's it. Just the uh, wood planks. The sea of options. Find someone to fix the pier. If anybody's going to fix the pier, I would have to assume it would be Tony, right? Since he fixed the bridge. This is going to take a little bit of time. So whom do you pay that money to? I don't know where that money goes. <laughs> do I pay myself? I guess not. <laughs> I don't know where that money goes. Eat a little bit of apples. Thank you. Let's come over here and like gain an inventory slot back. There is fishing in this game too. Pick that up. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's build this furnace, shall we? Build a furnace. Where should I put the furnace? Let's put the furnace right there. Yeah? Pretty good. Learning the basics. The furnace is now in. So, in the furnace, you can make brick, iron ingots, silver ingots, gold ingots, silicone ingots, and copper ingots. Is there such thing as silicone ingots? <laughs> but wait a sec. It looks like copper ingots are like the best. No, no, they're not the best. Silicone ingots are. Never mind. All right, good. Let's go out and about now. Now that we finish that stuff, we gotta go see the sea of options. See if we can do that. Lurking while smirking and eating chicken nuggets. I'll be honest with you, that better be some freaking dino nuggets, or I will be upset. <laughs> Wait a sec. Look at this. I don't remember this. Who in the world does this? This building's new. What the heck? Oh, this is the museum. Emerald, ruby, diamond. Long sword, machete. Golden sword. Wow. What an interesting museum. And then like, what's back there? It's empty back there. <laughs> It's empty back there, dude. Uh, it's empty back there, too. What the heck? Hey, Don. How you doing, Don? Good to see you. Question. If hunger reaches to 100%, do we die? No. We do not die. What happens is, I believe, uh, you just become slower. Like, you walk slower and things like that. But, no. I don't think there's, like, a, any death or pass out. Maybe a pass out thing if you lose your health, but not when you starve. I think you just become slower. That's how it works. Hey, Peyton. How you doing, Peyton? Hey, Ari. How you doing, Ari? Just got to move the boxes. Move the boxes. Everything you own in the box. I, every time I make that same joke. Every time I hear boxes, I think of that. I don't think of anything else re referring to boxes. I'm allergic to MSG, so dino nuggets are just plain breaded stuff. Dang it! Dang it! No dino nuggets! Now I'm upset. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It's been year. Okay, look at this. This is like some of the first enemies you can fight in this game. By the way, there's a chest right there. I don't know. I haven't had those in like maybe freaking 10, 15 years. I have a friend who is like, is, who is obsessed with them. Even at the age of 25, he still gets down on the dino nuggets. I just don't, I don't know. That's like the last thing to come to my head whenever Danielle's like, I'm going to the grocery store. What would you like? I almost lied. Did you see that? I almost lied to you. How would I have lied? 
Very simple. I would have said every time I go to the grocery store. We all know. Come on. <laughs> if you watched the members video yesterday, we all know. Come on. Hey, Cherokee. How you doing, Cherokee? Well, I guess we should go talk to more people, right? Yeah, we should find someone that's going to fix the pier up. Let's do that. We'll do that for sure. I was seeing if I could, like, explore a little bit. I could have swore, like, a. Uh, she said a message in a bottle on the beach where I landed. I don't see no message in a bottle on the beach where I landed. Maybe that's to come later on. I have no idea. Let me eat a cherry, though. Very eaten. Let me drink some water as well. We are getting a little bit uh, tired also. Wendy nu Wendy's nuggets are great. I agree. I think Wendy's nuggets are better than McDonald's nuggets. You get the Wendy's nuggets with the honey mustard. That's all you have to do. Don't do anything else. One of my friends still gets them and I would get them if I wasn't allergic to. Burger King fries are the best. I actually like Burger King a lot. It is more expensive than McDonald's, but I do enjoy it. I do. I I, I enjoy the charbroiled charbroiled uh, burgers more than just whatever the frick McDonald's does. You know what? We should probably talk to John since it's a new day. John, sorry, buddy. Hello, Cans. Uh, thank you for greeting me again. Unfortunately, not everyone does, but that's okay. I understand. I'm here if someone has coins left or even a smile for what it's worth. I know I'm new here, but you know you can always count on me if you need me, right? Thanks. It's great to have a new visitor. People here say that the island was once crowded with tourists. I wonder what it was like here before. If we had more people, I would manage uh, to get more donations. <laughs> I enjoy talking to you. Let's do this again when we get a chance. All right. Very well. Now I want some Wendy's nuggets, man. Now you got me on this kick. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hello. You. Oh, what the frick? That was weird. Uh, hello. New diary entry. Okay, very well. That was super weird. Uh, Samwell. Oh, where was I? I don't remember if that guy was actually trying to hide or going to work. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about the last book I've read. You must be new in town. Never saw you before. You were in another galaxy, right? Be careful not to fall. My name is Kans. Nice to, meet, nice to meet you. What the hell is wrong with me? Why would I say that? I'm saying it. Oh, yeah. Shame on me. <laughs> but sometimes I really am in another galaxy. You should try it, too. It is good for creativity. We had a good library here. We still do, actually. We still do, actually. But there are some missing books. The pirates come here and think they can find treasures. So they end up destroying books or taking them. I really want to read different stories. More than that, uh, some are from our lands. Maybe someday someone can tell me more when he or she goes on a new adventure. Oh, I forgot. I'm Samwell. Let's talk again some other time. Maybe we can learn some things together. All right. Very well. Ah, I remember this. The like the little trader thing, right? They're only open Jordan's shop open in the morning and closed for the rest of the day. Yeah, I remember that. It's raining outside here today. It should start raining soon for us tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> I always say that. Jack. Hey, yeah. Uh, what? You have a pier for boats that is all messed up and you need someone to fix it? Yeah, that's correct. I'm not sure what I will be able to do with that. But since it is near my property, it should come in handy. Oh, yeah. Well, we know exactly what we need it for. Oh, yes. I can help for sure. I build boats, but I also fix piers and cannon towers. Why is everybody laughing in this? Everybody thinks everything's funny. And I think I saw this pier that you mentioned when I was walking around. And it is good because it can help us attract even more tourists, right? Well, I will need some materials. And then after I fix that, maybe I will ask for you a few things. What do you think? So we are done, right? Get all the materials and bring them back to me. Here is the list. After that, I should take a day to finish. Very well. 
All right, a skill has improved. Exploration. So if we actually take a look at that, hang on a sec. Exploration, exploration, right here. Level two. Uh, at first we had a basic key unlock. Now level two gives us unlocks repair kit, crafted with the electronics table, and then it unlocks coffee, crafted with the stove. All things we do not have. Jordan. Hi, I don't believe we met before. I'm Jordan and I have a small shop in town. Come see me if you want to check out some nice stuff to buy. I always have something for everyone. And you must be new here, right? I know about everything that happens on these islands. Nice to meet you too, Jordan. I'm Cans. I will drop by your store sometime. Nice. Drop by if you need something. I usually have good stuff here. Take care, friend. Very well. Oh, everybody's going to the pub. I'm not going to the pub because I got a busy day. I do. Because now I need 30 planks, 10 packs of nails, 5 duct tape, and rope. All those. We need it all. McDonald's grills their burgers. I think they only grill one burger. At least where we live in the United States. There's only one burger they grill. That's the quarter pounder. So if you want like a real meat. Like a real grilled burger. You get the quarter pounder. If you get like uh, anything else. Like a double cheeseburger. Those I think they just put in those like little oven slot things. That they have. But the only legit burger they grill is. Even the Big Mac patties I think are in the slot things. But I think the quarter pounders are the only ones that are grilled. At least that's how it is in the States. It could be different where you live, depending on where you live, though. Mm -mm. I made our own takeaways for 40 years. Better ingredients, quality, quantities, taste, and price. I know, the cravings has hit me hard. Have you found the house that needs to be fixed? Uh, the house that needs to be fixed? <clears throat> you used to work at McDonald's in Tennessee? Oh, dude, then it must be different. Because that's not how they do it here. We had uh, friends that worked at McDonald's, and they did it way different. I don't know if that's like a franchise thing or what that was all about, but they definitely did not do it that like that. Let's go 10 hours. What time is it? 10 hours. Fish and chips is my takeaway choice. The shop across the road is excellent. I haven't had fish and chips in a long time. I really haven't. We do have a lot of franchise. Like I said, we have a um, we have a Denny's right across the street from a Denny's. <laughs> we have one corporate Denny's and one franchise Denny's. Danielle and I went to the franchise Denny's over the corporate Denny's. And she, I think I told this story before. It was like 10 p.m. at night. She got a burger. She thought it was the best damn burger she ever had in her life. She got, at 10.30 at night, she went to the waitress and says, Hey, can I see the chef? Because she was going to thank the chef on how good of a burger she had at Denny's. Oh, it was so funny. <laughs> oh. Just wanted to remind you that my shop is open every morning. So come and see me if you want to buy something. I restock my inventory every season. I can buy your stuff too. Just don't expect me to pay a very high price because I'm kind of poor. Buy. Okay. Interesting. Trader in town. I was, lurk I was lurking and waking up while watching you on TV and had to get, had to get signed into my tablet just to tell you Yes, I'm craving now craving Wendy's nuggets with honey mustard, which I haven't had in years. Like I used to be the kind of person that would get the uh, the the. I think I can chop this stuff out here. Let me check. You know, you as a kid, I, I kind of grown past this, and it's just a me thing. It's not like a we thing. It's just a me thing. Like I used to go to like um used to go to like. Hang on a sec. There we go. Used to go to like Wendy's and you get like chicken nuggets, right? And then like you have like some fries, right? And then you would get the, like the chocolate frosty. The chocolate frosty? Dude, I tell you what. You dip the fries in the chocolate frosty or you dip the nuggets in the chocolate frosty. Nowadays, I don't do that. I've grown past that. 
it's not that I've grown past that. I just, my taste buds have changed, I think. <laughs> so I'm not about that life anymore. But the people that do do that still, I respect it because I understand it. Okay? I understand it. I'm just not there anymore. So we got to go to the mine shaft too, right? Let's see if we can find the mine shaft. This way, right? To the right. Yeah, fish and chips. I'm a big fish and chips fan. I would have to say. I, I, I do like the seafood. I do like the seafood. I'm a big seafood kind of person. Ah, look at that. Perfect. Ooh. What just happened? Okay, new diary entry. Okay. It's very dark. Do I just pop this? I do. All I want is, like, stone and possibly iron. There we go. We got iron. Perfect. Very easy to get iron. And possibly coal. I mean, I saw silver. I don't know what we're going to need for like coal or something like that. Or maybe charcoal. I have no idea. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Danielle was a little excited, I will say. She's like, oh my God. Taylor Swift is going on tour. And I said, oh yeah. <laughs> she says, yes. She says, I got to see my Taylor Swift. I said, okay. How? When? Taylor Swift doesn't come to us until like 2023, yo. In summer. I'm like, alright. Well, looks like we have something to look forward to. At least she has something to look forward to. She's a big Taylor, Sw Taylor Swift fan. Believe me. I hear it going on in the house. <laughs> She's a girl, yeah. And she's, uh, she's definitely interested. Let's just say that. She's definitely interested. This should be enough. This should be enough uh, materials. I'm going to head back. Hey, Macy. How you doing, Macy? So despite appearances, this game is less farming and more management of shops. I think I think later on it will be like that. Um, I, I'm really not sure. I, I can't really pass very much big judgment on it. Just because I haven't gotten too far into the game before. Um... But it does have a very, and that's the word of the day, a very clunky vibe to it, for sure. Um, it's not uh, very fluent fluent in the um, controls, I will say that. So then here, how do we make iron? We need firewood. Make firewood. Shouldn't have enough, no? We have no wooden logs. Very well. Have Danielle go diving and bring you back some seafood. I would love that. I would. She hasn't been diving in a long time. Well, not a long time. It's not been too, too long since the last time she did a dive. It's funny that she, she loves sea life. She loves the sea, you know, and all that. But she doesn't eat seafood, which hurts me to a degree. But I get it. I mean, she does like shrimp. She likes grilled shrimp. She's a fan of that. So there's that at least. She'll have some grilled shrimp or like some like other, uh, what is it, like deep fried shrimp. Like, uh, what is it? The heck is it called? Uh, I don't even know what the heck it's called. Um, popcorn shrimp. Yeah, there you go. Popcorn shrimp. Yeah. Let's grab some more apples. It makes sense you don't eat your friends. That's a great way to put it, isn't it? That's a great way to put it. You're right about that. Fish are friends, not food. You're right about that. <laughs> Maybe that's what she's thinking. Maybe that's what she's thinking the whole time. I guess I could have got some stone here, right? This should be popping. There we go. There we go. Fire logs are almost done. Danielle's aerial. Dude, I tell you what. 
she wants to be Ariel so bad. That's her favorite princess of all time. She is the biggest Ariel fan of all time. She wants to be her. I think that's why she likes diving so much. I think she feels like her. For sure. 100% sure. She is all about that. There we go. Grab the fire logs. There we go. Get this rolling. Uh, I need iron, I believe, yeah? Make all the iron I can. 12. That sounds good to me. And then we need... How much rope? 5 rope? She has pictures of when she was a kid. She grew up dressed as Ariel. Did Halloween as Ariel. Had Ariel this and that and that and this. She, uh, she, she's, she's a big fan. She's met Ariel multiple times. She loves it. She absolutely loves it. There we go. And what else do we need? Duct tape. Five. I'm obsessed with area. I have a collectible r full room full of fairy and aerial memorabilia. Oh my god! You should see our shelf in the living room. In our shelf in the living room, statues and statues of Ariel. Not even joking. Not even kidding. A okay, bag is full. Once again, F me sideways. Okay. Very well. I will, I will adjust the game. Don't worry. I will adjust. I will adjust to you. Should make another chest probably, right? I will adjust to you. Um, I forgot that food spoils. Don't forget about that. Uh, pack of nails, please. Ten. There we go. Fish our friends, not food. Hey, Juhu, how you doing? Uh, if you use coconut to quench your thirst to that instead of water bottles, you could save a slot for your inventory. That's a good idea. I forgot that you could use the coconuts um, as as a thirst thing. That's a good idea. Good shout. I don't know why mermaids wouldn't eat fish, though. Because fish are friends, not food. That's what Bruce says. Have I been to the mines yet? I have. Yes, I have. Ariel will always be the best princess, but now as a mom, I watch it and yell at Ariel when she says she's 16 and not a child anymore. I'm like, girl, sit down. You're 16. <laughs> yeah. that <laughs> That's what, like, the crazy thing about it is, like, 16, I guess, is consensual in New Jersey. I did not know that. I learned that the other day. Had no idea there was a law that New Jersey had that was doing that. I was like, what the frick? That is weird. Super weird. Go to the pirate. At least that's what I saw. Who knows if it was true, though. John! Look who showed up again. Hi, Cans. I've always seen you running up and down around here. You seem to be really busy uh, for your age. <laughs> for my age? It's just that I'm getting some new crops and they come with a lot of work. Besides, I like walking around Canstopia and seeing if anyone needs help with anything. That's cool. Few people value food. And I only know a little bit about it. I know that I love orange juice and mashed potatoes. So I recognize when oranges and potatoes are well cared for. Very good. I was on the freaking roof last night. So I got on the roof late last night because I was we were cleaning the yard. We we're getting ready for the rainstorm. I was cl clearing out the gutters and things like that. I get on the roof and I took my sweet ass time to find out that it's now dark and I'm on the roof. And getting down the ladder, dude, I tell you what. Almost busted an ass, okay? I almost broke my ass last night. If I would have told you that I couldn't stream today because I fell off my house, 
That would have been one of the most embarrassing things I've ever done. Hey, Reaps Gaming, how you doing? Good to see you. Can I not go in that little cute little RV? That's cool. Where's the pirate guy? Is he down at the beach? Yeah. My favorite Disney princess is split between Mer uh, Merida, Merida, or Rapunzel. I just can't pick. Pick Rapunzel. Pick Rapunzel. Danielle's really liking the, uh, she's liking, uh, I think she, she likes watching, oh god, what the hell is that movie called? Um, good lord. The one, uh, why can't I think of it? Why am I drawing a blank? I should know this. Come on, I'm gonna be tested. Um, oh my god, I can't remember the princess's name. <laughs> she's a newer one. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. My my memory is fading slowly but surely. Gump, hey, how's it going? How is everyone? What what are you doing? Uh, Moana, yeah, Moana. There you go. Thank you, Moana. That's 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 her name. I have so much to do, but I always have time to stop for a good chat. My name is Cans. I'm still getting to know everyone. Nice to meet you, Cans. The name's Gump. I'm the owner of this town pub. Uh, drop by and some and get some drinks with me when you can. A night, folks. And at night, folks like to gather, too. Oh, I cook something up at the pub from time to time. Pay to visit if you want to learn something new. They're really my secret recipes. There's... Take care. Okay, very well. Thank you, Gump. Bubba, hey! Hi, my name is Cans. How are you? Pleased to meet you, Cans. I'm Bubba. I'm still thinking about my last uh, time fishing. It was a big fish. Anyway, pleased to meet you. Very well. Bubba. Moana has the best music. I agree. Sing a song from it. Away. Oh, Away. Oh, wait. wait, how's that go? <laughs> Away. Oh, All right, we're done. Where is the pirate dude at? He's not in here, right? Unless he's at the pier. You think he's at the pier? He might be at the pier. I'm just an overall huge Disney fan. Same. Danielle and I are the same. That's why we have annual passes. <laughs> we spend a lot of time there. We haven't been to the lighthouse. I believe there's a lighthouse, right? Yeah. God, jeez. We're about to, like, fall asleep again. It's like 2 p.m. Why are we so tired? Don't be so tired. There we go. I do need to add that empty bottle. To, yeah. To seven? Seven heaven? Seven heaven? Is that a show? Dawson's Creek? Anybody watch Dawson's Creek? I think it's on HBO Max. Any Dawson Creek fans? I can recite the whole movie without watching it. Sick. I love that. Hey, Tori. How you doing, Tori? I see what's happening here. You're face to face with greatness and it's strange. You don't even know how, how you feel. It's adorable. Well, it's nice to see that humans never change. Coconut. Pirate is always at the beach during the bay, during the day by the fisherman. Okay, good shout. I'll go back to the beach. Are we going to wait for our lives to be... Are we going to wait for our lives to be over? I can't... I wish I could like... I have that... I love that theme song. Tell me now right what it would be. Are we gonna wait for our lives to be over? There you go. I can't hit it. I can't hit it. Are we gonna wait 
for our lives to be over. Think of speedrun? Uh, oh, yeah. I have not uh, dove into that yet. <laughs> I don't know if I am doing it yet. I haven't yet to uh, kind of make room for it, basically, is what I'm sitting at. And preparing myself. Yeah. That's one thing. Uh, howdy. Sorry about the quick chat on that bridge. But I had to fix that really fast. I still don't know what happened there. But with your help, I figured it all out very quickly. And I think I didn't get your name. Sorry, I'm Tony, by the way. I'm really pleased to meet you. My name is Kans. Dang, Tony. That was so tough on me. Uh, I could use a reward or something. Uh, let's not do that. Uh, my name is Kans. It's great to meet you, and I'm glad I could help you. No worries. We can always chat again. That's good to hear. Things are hard today, since no tourists have been coming to the town anymore. That's why I tried to make some coins by fixing everything I can. The elder paid me to do that. And without tourists, the town has... No real income, and it's not just me. Everyone is struggling. There are people at the pub. There's nothing for me to fix, and there's no one to buy our fish. But hey, maybe you are our little hope that just got here. I'll be glad to help you out in anything that can also help our town. Don't forget about it. Ivy. Oh, hello, I'm Ivy. Nice to meet you. I usually don't remember faces, but since this is a small town, we all know everyone around here, right? And you, tell me a bit about yourself. I'm sure that you will get to know everyone very soon. Almost everyone here is nice. Hey, I see you. Hey! Natasha! Thank you for becoming a member, Natasha. How you doing, Natasha? Good to see ya. Thank you, Natasha. Very generous. Oh, baby, indeed. Hey, Shireen. How you doing, Shireen? Hey, I see you like to talk. I'm Cans, and I'm trying to work on my new property. Let's not do that. Hey, Ivy, nice to meet you. I'm Kans. It just so happens that I have a property here, so I'm trying to settle down a little. I came from a distant land and island, and we had some problems with pirates, you know? Well, I'm always busy, so that's okay. See you later, you know? I lost my mother when I was younger, so sorry. Uh, let's talk about this some other time. Take care. Very well. Hey, Arden. How you doing, Arden? Oh, gosh darn it. Now with the freaking energy. Can I buy something from the pub to, like, get my energy up? Because I'm tired? Harvest Stella released today. What do you think of that game? Uh, well, I haven't played it. Um, I don't think I'm going to play it unless I was given a key or something for it. It's a $60 game. Let me just say that. First of things first. $60. Um, I think it was... I watched a stream about it yesterday, though. I think it might have been advertised a little incorrectly. Because it definitely was advertised to be like a farming life. Farm life. And I, I think farm in that game is going to take a big backseat. So I don't know if it was advertised correctly. There might be some people that might be disappointed with it. It looks like other games. I forgot what was the other game it looked like. It looked like a lot of, uh, oh, what is it? Chronicles. Oh, God. What is the name of the game? Um, help me. Someone in the freaking chat can help me on that one. I, I'm no Chronicles. What is it? Chronicles. God damn it. What is the name of it? Xenoblade, not Xenoblade, not Rune Factor, even though it was made by the same people by Crystal Chronicles. Thank you. That's what it is. Crystal Chronicles. That's what it reminded me of. $90 in Australia? That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> hey, Awful Gaming, how are you? They're very specifically advertised it as a life simulator, but looks a lot like Crystal Chronicles. Thank you. That's that's what I was trying to say. Did I just pass Jack? There's a disgusting bee sound. You said Crystal Chronicles first? Okay, that, well, there you go. <laughs> I'll, I'll get... I, I gotta get back to Jack. I gotta get my energy sorted. This is ridiculous. I have to freaking worry about energy to this extent right now. Early on in the game. I guess this is what I deserve, right? But 
but yeah, I feel like the trailers and everything that I saw, they really relied on, uh, I mean, they really focused on farming, but I think there's going to be farming, but it's going to be like very passive type thing. It's not going to be like the sole part of it. But again, $60 is a lot of like 60 USD. It's a lot of money for a game like that. Um, I did request a key, but I, I probably won't get it. Let's be fair here. I think I think it will be a good game as far as like an RPG game. I do have hopes that it will be a good uh, game as far as like RPG elements go. I don't know. I, I, I just think it was advertised maybe slightly wrong. That's it. You got to look at it as like a casual consumer. A casual consumer that has no idea what Square Enix is or really doesn't really care what Square Enix is, you know. If you looked at that at face value, I think there could be some confusion there. You know, especially with the name Harvest in it. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you really never know. Let's go 12 hours. Because, I mean, there's there's a niche of people, right? And we, we sit here and we, we talk about games, right? And we talk about game developers. We talk about publishers. We like this game dev. We like this publisher. So be it. But, like, as a casual gamer, casual gamers won't know that kind of stuff. They won't care to know or they don't, they just straight up won't know type thing, you know? So, you also gotta, like, look at it in that regards. I don't know if I watered my crops yesterday. Get some more water. It's square, so a key is going is going to come with a lot of uh, stipulations. I know, right? <laughs> That's why I was like, eh, no, I, you know, I, I no hopes for it. <laughs> there we go. Oh damn! I should have got my water done too. We'll go talk to Captain Jack, so to speak. Oh, uh, yeah. YouTuber's Life is going to be uh, today, too. Yeah. We're going to play YouTuber's Life uh, later today. Drink of water. Really? How does my bag full? I just... I What the frick do I have in here? Oh, I guess the coconuts. Copper. I guess I can get rid of the copper. Hold on there, water bottle. Let's go here. Drop that off right now. I'm going to need more chests. And I'm trying to steer away from that. Maybe what I do is I just make a key instead. Hey, Street, how you doing? Square Enix is releasing so many games back to back lately. Can't keep up. Just got Star Ocean. So that's enough for me right now. I've never heard of Star Ocean. Anybody else heard of Star Ocean before? I never heard of it. Let's see. How much does a key make? A basic key. Pack of nails. Oh, crap. I hear fire trucks. Okay, we'll make another pack of nails and we'll make uh, keys and then we'll go to Captain Jack. Yep. Are you telling me there's people who don't know about Team 3 or Yoshi P? What are we doing with your lives? <laughs> <laughs> Star Ocean is a space drama game. Love it. Hey, Sai. How you doing, Sai? I 
action JRPG series that has been around since uh, Pers are you, Persona 1? Persona 1? The sixth game just released after a long hiatus. Was that PS1? Is that Persona 1? Is that PS? Is that what PS1 is? Or no? Or less around since PS1 as in like PlayStation 1. Sorry. PlayStation 1. Read that wrong. Place where you go get your Powerpuff Girl headband. Do they have Disney characters? If so, that was the store called again. Uh, they do not have Disney characters. Because that's my argument there. Uh, they do have like Marvel and Avengers and things like that. Uh, they are junk brands. You just type in junkbrands.com. And then like if you have Twitter, tweet at them and be like, yo, this guy sent me. <laughs> you don't have to, but you know. Um, let's take both those nails because I want two keys. I think that that only took one key or one nail. Oh, that's kind of sucks then. But they don't have any of that stuff yet. Hopefully one day they will. I want to get a couple keys because I know there's another chest. Uh, they've also, like, kind of, like, surprised me a little bit. Uh, they're like, oh, yeah, we're doing beanies now for the first time. I'm like, oh, that's kind of sick. Go eight. There we go. Hooray! What did we get? A traveler's bag! Yes! Exactly what we need. And coins! Give me all the monies. Now we can have a bigger inventory bag, or inventory slot, right? Um, please and thank you. Unequipped. Can't do that because we have an inventory full. Frick, dude. Um, we'll put wood in there. There we go. And then we'll go like this. Unequipped. Okay, maybe don't unequip. Equip that. Oh, you just put it on top? Okay, that's a little weird. All right. There we go. Cool. Now we have a bigger backpack. Hooray! There we go. Okay. Give me my wooden planks back now. Let's go find Jack. Oh, there's two or three hidden uh, chests on my farm. I know there was one <clears throat> at the beach, right? Let's see if we can make some more real quick. We'll make two more. Make two more. Oh, there we go. There's Queen Zelda's new profile pic. Watch out. So if we bug junk brands enough, they might sponsor you. Frick, dude. I hope. That'd be sick as hell. I haven't pitched my thing to them. I've been bugging them on social media a little bit from time to time. But I think one thing I would love to do. My, my idea to them is I want to pitch the idea. I want to email them. I want to talk to them. I want to say, hey, I think... Because they focus a lot over, like, uh, uh, like with athletics, things like that, and and um, things of that nature. And I think, like, bodybuilding, stuff like that, they really focus on that. And my pitch to them would be, like, if I could bring their brands, because I do enjoy them. I like them a lot, as you could probably tell. If I could bring their brands to, like, the gaming verse... To the gaming universe and they could like you know expand their horizons to the gaming audience and maybe we can have some dope ass like gaming headbands of some sort maybe they can get into the anime that'd be kind of cool anime licensing licensing they can get into all different kinds of things pop culture licensing and things like that that'd be really neat uh mlg people that do mlg gaming they could definitely do like some kind of MLG thing, right? For sure, for sure. So that would be my pitch to them. Nobody in chat steal my pitch. <laughs> Don't steal it. You wear them almost every day. They should totally involve be involved here somehow. I know, right? And I also like. 
Like, I use the headbands in all my thumbnails for the most part, too. I just use them. I use them. It's just like part of my daily life now, even when I'm not streaming and all that good stuff. I use it. Treasure map pieces. Very good. I saw the other chest over here. I remember playing Star Ocean on my PlayStation back when I was 14. Oh, very well. Hey, Robert. How you doing, Robert? I got to get up to the top there. That path. I don't want to, like, spray it and use up all my energy. I haven't fought any enemies yet. Big games as bandana patterns would look good. Pac-Man and Space Invaders and stuff. Yeah. Like, stuff like that. Like, kind of cool stuff like that, right? And then, like, for, like, hype releases, whatever it might be. Big release kind of games. That'd be really cool. I would love that. I would love to do that. Like, bring in those ideas. And be like, hey. I know a lot of people that would be like, so for if you could get like, some kind of like, licensing agreement to bring Final Fantasy headbands or, or anything. Anything, right? All these types of things. All these types of games. I mean, people go to Hot Topic and buy shirts or buy pop figures and buy things. And and they don't just have these types of bands. There's all different kinds of things that they have. And, you know, that just depends if they want to get into that kind of market. I would offer them, like, hey, this is the market. This is what you could do. And people really enjoy this kind of thing. And it's another way for, and most importantly, it's another way for people to express themselves. I think that's one way to put it. You know, they can express their themselves and express their interests and things like that. I've clipped it, edited a video pitch, and sent it to the PR team with my name on it. <laughs> How am I like a Spirit of Island? Uh, so, I've played Spirit of Island before. This is my second time playing it. Uh, but this is my first time playing it in the full release form. And it's good. I do... I I think it's a nice, peaceful game. It's a very cozy game, I would have to say. It's super fun and super easy to, like, sit here and talk with chat. Uh, there are some things about it that seem that they have not changed since early access. Um, and, again, we'll go back to the word of the day. It is a little clunky. Uh, like, the inventory is a little clunky. The hot bar system is a little clunky. Um... You can get overwhelmed for sure with the um, with the inventory and all that. Uh, little direction uh, is a little bit not foretelling. Like you can't really like, oh, the game doesn't tell you directly how to do certain things. So I there was multiple times where I had to ask chat like, hey, what? How do you make a farm plot? You know, <laughs> oh, you press B on your hammer. Got it. You know, type thing. Some people might uh, have a hard time with that. Maybe those are things that I experienced before in the early access that I thought that they would have uh, changed. I does it seem that to be that way. Uh, many people have tried to help me, but I still can't remember how I got to Canstopia. Maybe it's better that way. There are so many interesting things around here. I don't know if I would ever get back home. If you can't remember the past, live in the present. What matters is the here and now. Canstopia is a beautiful place that I feel like we had this discussion before earlier in a members video no <laughs> if you can't remember the past live in the present this is the same positive attitude i have thinking about it too much is of no use to me i'm happy to have found a place as beautiful as cans topia there we go ordered two headbands for christmas stockings and sent the shout out on my twitter oh very good i'll have to definitely look into that when i Switch over to our next stream today. I'm going to look into that on the Twitterverse. Thank you. I appreciate that. I do. I do. I do. I do appreciate that. That was very kind of you, Neverly. Very kind. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, is that him right there? Yellow jacket? No, but that is someone I would like to talk to. We'll go to the beach. We'll go to the beach. Hi, Cans. Good to see you again. My bar is a perfect place to rest after a long day's work. Feel free to come by, and if you need anything, you know who to call. Thank you very much, Gump. I've had great things about. I've heard great things about this place. 
If the people said it was, even better. <laughs> Before, my bar was practically crowded, but after the pirates appeared, all the tourists turned tail. Who knows, maybe you can help resolve that. Come by more often, Cans. We're always at your disposal. Very well. I know, right? That should be part of your spiel as well. I think you're right about that, Lalu. Yeah. There's only, like, few things I, I do, like, enjoy passionately. For some reason, I enjoy these people very passionately. <laughs> I do. I just, I do, I, I just, yeah. I do, I do. I think they're just fun. They're definitely fun, and they go with outfits, and it's, it's an alternative to wearing a hat. Some people don't like to wear a hat, you know? Oh, there's another chest over there. I think I'm gonna get that. I know, the proof is in the pudding, I know, right? Let's grab that. A golden hammer, right. I mean, I guess a hammer that will have more durability, last longer. There you go. There you go. This is the first time we're in combat. Not afraid. Crab claws, flat, uh, fat, and treasure pieces. And then a shell left behind. I think inventory in this game, inventory management is one of the hardest things to do. Mr. Freaking Captain Jack is not here. What the frick, dude? Come on now. Is he at the pub already? Maybe he's at the pub already? This guy is so elusive. He's hard to find. I had to figure out how to move stuff before it was the X key, but it was the G key now. They switched the keys. Is that right? <laughs> Natasha says, I'm good. Just lurking and working. Very good looking, lurking and working, smirking, right? Um, I'm Cans. Uh, it looks like you're not a big fan of talking, huh? With all due respect, what do you want me to talk about exactly? Eliza. My name is Eliza. I don't like talking too much, and I barely just met you. I don't have anything to talk to you about, so I'm gonna go. I have some things to take care of. Welcome to the island, I guess. This... I don't remember this. This... Oh, maybe I do. The sewer? Maybe I do remember that. I love working in PR, PR and brand management, so tweeting you is always a pleasure. Oh, very good. I love that. Love to hear that. Hey. Hair out my face and sweat catcher. What's not the like about him? There you go. <laughs> there you go. It's an alternative than wearing a freaking uh, hair tie sometimes. Hair ties, you know, give you headaches and stuff and all that pressure on your head. Hey, you're back. Did you get all the items? Yeah, it's all here. Yay, I have everything. I will start working on it soon. You just go home and get some rest, and it should be ready by tomorrow. Thank you. Hey, Jace. How you doing, Jace? <laughs> Alright, we'll move back home. What day are we on? Are we on? I guess we're going to be going on our sixth day. Sixth day, yeah? Sixth day. I just remember that we're going to need a lot of fat. I don't know. I'm, I'm holding off on getting the thorns, but I just have a feeling we're going to need a lot of fat. There was, I forgot who it was. There was somebody um, who watched our Dinkum streams, like our Dinkum series. And they said it recently. I forgot who it was. It escapes my mind. But they said that they watched the entire Dinkum series. They just found the channel recently. And when they finally chatted for the first time in one of the live streams we had, they were like, oh my god. It was so easy to just the chat in the live stream. And the reason why they said it was because of this. They watched all the series of the Dinkum streams. And they ended up learning who everybody was through watching chat, you know? And then when they finally spoke in chat, they're like, I feel like I already know these people because I've been watching them chat about 
you know, in all the Dinkum streams. So I thought that was really, really cool. Absolutely. If I take a highlight from that, that that's that's a big highlight for sure. For sure, for sure. So part of me that wants to transfer these now seeds over into this box. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Thank you. I wish there was a faster way to do this. <coughs> Here we go. It is pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. It is pretty cool. For sure, for sure, right? I thought that was very sweet of them. I was like, ah, oh, I love to hear that. There we go. Okay. Let's go to eat a little bit. A little bit that we have. And then we'll drink a little bit. Refill, maybe. There we go. I know we have the coconuts, but my lord. The freaking, the, the, the effort it takes for me to switch my hot bars, like I have to do right now, is insane. There we go. Yeah, I need to get a stove in. You need the stove so you can do oil for the gas for the boat. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, yeah, fat for gas. That's what it was. Okay, yeah, good, good, good shout. Have you heard of the game called Dredge? I got sucked into the demo and loved it. Fishing slash cozy game feeling with fun characters and a mystery. I have not heard of the game called dredge i have not i'll have to look into it i got an email today um well i got a couple emails today one the ranchers two um uh this is funny that because somebody mentioned it like yesterday or two days ago um core keepers core keepers a company reached out to me. They said they wanted to maybe send me a key to check out Core Keepers because I guess they have a new update coming out, a big update coming out on the 10th of November. Um, so I don't know if people are interested in Core Keepers. I, I have no idea. It's like a one to eight player game too. Ahoy there. I want to remind you that I create and sell boats. You gonna love them. You gonna love them? Okay. Stop by my home and let's have a chat if you want a new one. Cheers. But I am very excited about the ranchers thing. I'll learn more information I was told next week, so that's good. They want, they said, we would like to make you an ambassador. I was like, I've never been an ambassador before, but you can call me Ambassador Cans. <laughs> You remember someone saying that too? Yeah, see? Good reminder that people aren't just watching. They're definitely watching us in chat. Yeah, that is a great reminder. That And that goes, that extends. Uh, with chat, it doesn't just extend to, uh, you know, it extends to everything. It extends to, uh, what the frick? The rain went away. It extends to people, random people watching the chat. It extends to companies and gaming companies watching chat. They will read your chat and they will see what it's all about and see, huh, is this is this a good fit for us to work with this person or not, right? They, they watch and read your chat for sure. So it's always a good representation. Your community should always be a good representation of your channel. So this is the travel thing. So before... There was a few islands. Now there's like so many islands since. This is kind of cool. This is really cool to see. 100% cool to see. What is this? Manage your boat here. Every island will have a pier like this. Talk to the captain to buy a boat. Very well. Maybe we have to think about buying a boat. We have $1,500 for whatever it's worth. <laughs> you really like Core Keeper? You really like Core Keeper? Oh, very good. I heard a lot of... I heard some people do like Core Keepers. I've heard good things about it. You have the ranchers on your list? Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, for sure. The ranchers is something uh, a lot of people have been looking forward to, I think. For sure, for sure. I enjoyed playing Core Keeper, but never finished it. That's a big map. It is a pretty big map, yeah? Everybody stops talking now. I know. Everybody's like, oh crap. We're on the stage. We're on the spotlight now. <laughs> the trees and plants that you can't get in the wild, why you can't? Wait, wait, wait. What, what about the trees in the wild? About the can't? Wait, what? What? <laughs> But the trees and plants that you can't get in the wild while you can. You mean cut the trees in the in the in the in the wild, right? No? I should talk to John again. Hey yo. Hello cans, you stopped by to say hello to the oldest and friendliest guy on the island, right? Sorry, I swear I'm not that cocky. I'm just so happy to have another person to talk to. Oh come on, you know what you can always count you can always count on me right so what's new john uh, the only new thing here so far is you cans but i think this is just the beginning who knows your work might help this island uh, prosper again and bring more tourists to us very well oh buy buy the trees and plants that you can't get in why you can got you i see okay Hi, Cans. I see you're carrying a weapon with you. It's not an ideal one, but it is a start, I guess. By the way, do you have any fighting experience? Well, we have to start somewhere, right? I don't have much experience, but I tried to always be aware of my surroundings. That's the spirit. Uh, the island has been abandoned for quite some time, so it's impossible to know what kind of dangers still lurk here. It's always important to be very aware of your surroundings and be ready to act, especially with the pirate attacks. You should watch out for those as well. It's vital... Uh, to know how to defend yourself. And that's something everyone should learn. I've never honestly thought about all that before. I hope I've been a good representat representative. Yes, Lalu, you have. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't realize that sometimes. Uh, yeah, and that, that is a true fact. That is a true fact, for sure. I've been multiple times... Um, the, uh, that big company that I talked about and the members chat that I had the deal that didn't go through, they solely also said that they, um, liked how we interacted as a community, which was another reason why they picked me to do this thing down in LA, um, because they saw how uh, the community reacted to each other and how they talked amongst each other. So that was one of the reasons why as well. I'm sorry it must be a horrible situation. Are all pirates bad? The island I came from is now controlled by pirates. I don't know if I ever want to go back there. Yes, no doubt. I hope they don't come here. Pirates are the worst kind of people. All right. Even if they take a... A mega pint? That's a beautiful house. It's like actually one of the houses that looks nice. It's very small though. Like the houses look so massive on the outside, but tiny, tiny, tiny on the inside. These streams are one of my favorite places to chat about games and things in games. Oh, very good. I love to hear that, Christy. Love to hear that indeed. Hello, Cans. How are you? Did you get the chance to meet anyone from Canstopia yet? Most of the people here are nice, of course. Each of, each one of them has a different personality, so you just need to know how to handle them. Don't forget to explore the island as well. Hi, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> I'm good, but I'm still adapting. No, no. And yes, I met some locals, but I haven't had the time to chat with everyone yet. I did spend some time exploring the island, though. That's cool. When I got here for the first time, I also needed some time to adapt. I'm sure you will be fine. I'd be happy to talk to you again later. Fortunately for me, I got a new job here that I will need to focus more on. I want to talk to Jack again. Uh, 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 
coffee seeds. We can get coffee seeds, which, which actually would be nice. A fig seed. That's a fig... Wait a sec. A fig seed... Is that a tree? Or that's that's a plant, right? Is that a plant? Banana tree, right? Banana trees. That comes from a tree. Avocados. Avocados come from a tree, right? Coffee seeds. Grows during every season except winter. We should probably buy that. How much do I need to fill a plot? I think it's like five, I think. Is it five to fill a plot? I'll buy ten. I drink mega pints of tea. <laughs> I guess, right? Bananas and figs and avocados. They're $240? Those are expensive. The fig is a tree? The, I, I would assume these three are trees, right? Avocado tree, banana tree, and a fig tree. No? Do I only need one seed? How does that work? I don't know how that works. One seed? Big tree, we have a huge one in the back and we love it. I've, I don't think I've ever had fig. I had a fig Newton. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I, I don't know. I'm a little skeptical on that. I'm not going to buy anything because I don't know how that works. Can you pull up the social thing so I can see who all is missing in one of them? Uh, and for the life of me, I can't remember who. Uh, these two? This guy? I think this is a child, actually. A child and a someone here. A child and a someone. One seed. I'm gonna head back to the captain. See if we can see. See if we can see. See if we can grab ourselves or learn how to do a boat. Right. Dun, 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 dun. We had a fig and avocado tree in our yard. Oh, that sounds good. I wish I had an avocado. Tree. I like avocados a lot. I do. I'm a big fan of avocados. Massive fan. Hello, Captain. Hey, hey, hey. A new face. Hello. Hello there. My name is Jack, and I run the boat workshop in town. I used to make boats for tourists before, or, you know, take them on boat rides, but it's so hard to do now. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Jack. How dare you introduce yourself as we uh, built a pier together? Uh, do you know why it's so hard? Because there are no customers. Those nasty pirates, they keep uh, pestering us. But hey, sorry, what's your name again? Calm down, sir. <laughs> With all the energy you got, I'm sure they will come back again sometime. My name is Cans, and I have a new property on, the, an, on another island. Maybe I can help with the pirates. Hey, you don't need to yell at me or relax, sir. I probably in this situation would say calm down, sir. Oh, yes, they will come back. Uh... They will come back. They love my boats. But yes, jokes aside, thanks for your help. By the way, if you need boats, come talk to me. I can build smaller big boats. I just need the materials and, you know, some coins to help uh, keep me running with the workshop. Maybe you can come back later or some other day. And I'll let you... I'll tell you what I need to build a boat. Also, I will probably need help from time to time. I oft often need materials to build or repair, repair boats for the time. Or for the town. Sorry, I don't know why I had a hard time speaking on that front there uh wait a sec can i talk to you I'll talk to you tomorrow what are you closed i thought we could like chat and trade what the frick happened what are you talking about there was options to chat and trade with you now there isn't what the heck i feel cheated i feel so cheated Chavez is his name. He works at the pub. Oh, Chavez. My favorite Chavez is Chavez Ravine. I'm a big fan of Chavez Ravine. I'm lurking and smirking as I clean up my house. The move is exactly two weeks away. Holy crap. I'm terrified for you. <laughs> I'm terrified for you. That was like a two two hour was that two hours two hour grocery shop that was pretty decent no that's probably hey you know what that's probably the last grocery shop uh grocery shopping you do for that house yeah maybe 
Hi there, my name is Chavez, and I really like food. What's your name? How are you doing today? Hey kid, my name's Kans. Very nice to meet you. And I really like food too. Tell me what kind of food do you like? Nice to meet you, Kans. My favorite food is ham sandwiches. You know, I think God made them so we can enjoy life more. <laughs> the best ham we can get is from a certain plant. You need to search for it in the mountains. Usually the best way. Okay, you're my new friend, right? Uh, let's chat another time. Bye-bye. Is that a diary moment? I guess that's a diary entry moment. How much time do we have? 321? Okay. We'll go to the mountains. We haven't been to the mountains yet. Or at least out of the town. Drink a little bit of that. Thank you. We have a paper tree that is also well developed in a very young... Uh, Persian, Persimmon, Persi, Parisimmon, 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 Parisimmon tree, Parisimmon tree, Parisimmon tree, F me tree. How about that? Travis, I like your appetite. Keeping an eye on the docks sounds silly, but it's very important after all. Danger can come very anywhere, can come from anywhere, especially when the seas are crawling with near do wells near do wells near do wells i don't even know what near do wells is near do wells near do wells near near i don't know no idea there we go we've discovered the pier now good to see nice little boats here and there i don't think we can interact with them right moving states is very stressful and yes we tried to get mostly dry food since it's a long move i do not envy that move <laughs> oh hey look at that key do i have another key on me i don't have another key but i mean we now know where there's another key at or another chest that's good nair do well like nair like the stuff you uh you nair <laughs> like the stuff that you you use instead of a razor <laughs> persimmon Persimmon? 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 They do say the moving is the third mo most stressful thing after weddings and birth. You know, that's funny to say because I never thought I was the kind of person that was like, if I am to get married, it's not going to be stressful. Because. The forehead I'm marrying, I've known for a while. A long while. Turns out, I was incorrect. It was one of the most stressful days of my life. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. I can't even describe it to you. What the heck is this? Gold ores? Oh, well, that was nice. Thank you for the gold ores. That must be new. I don't remember that in early access. Persephone? Excuse me, what? Persephone? Um, the community board, like... Hey, Cans, I was going fishing when I noticed that I'm missing something pretty important. I'm missing an iron bucket. How am I supposed to collect enough fish to sell without an iron bucket? Could you find one for me, please? I'll need it within the next few days, if you can. We'll have to see. It's pronounced Persephone? Persephone? What are you actually talking about? Persephone? 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 What is Persephone? How did we get to the word Persephone? What is a Persephone? I don't even know how we ended up on Persephone. Is it like Phoebe and Stephanie? It's a name? Wait. Oh, wait. Did someone say they were pregnant? Wait a sec. Time the frick out.
Never mind. Okay. A Greek goddess? A Greek god? Persephone? Greek goddess is Persephone? Was there like a one-line hitter joke there that I missed? I, I am so absolutely at the wall right now. Very confused. Okay, we'll go basic key. We'll at least get one more because we know that there's another chest that wants to be opened. Damn it. Gold ore. Now, the gold ore in this game looks nothing like... Uh, in other games, I guess. That green thing is gold ore, believe it or not. I guess that must be fake gold. I do have some coffee beans, though. Now, I do have some crops that I got, but I think the crops... I don't know if these spoil the harvestable crops. The forageable crops might, but I don't know if the harvestable crops do. You know what? Take those coffee beans back. Put the fat away. Uh, put the wood away. I don't know what to do with the junk. I think we can make fertilizer possibly for it. Questionable. Coffee beans. Let's get that going, shall we? I need some dirt, I think, right? I don't think I have dirt. An aquarium. Oh, that would be so cool. Persephone is a Greek goddess, but I think it came up in conversation because the discussion was of Persimmon. Reminded someone of it. I see. Okay. Is that what it is? I just wanted to see how he would say it. How dare you? Have a good one, Susie T. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate that. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Absolutely. Put it right there. No, right there. Wait a sec. Why can't I put it right there? Hang on. Time out. Time the F out. Is it because that little tiny piece of grass is in the way? It's so dark. That tiny little piece of grass? That's why? Damn it. It was. Okay. Okay. Let's get the coffee beans going, I guess. Why am I doing the coffee beans? The only reason why really is... Is because maybe I can make like some kind of energy drink, <laughs> coffee drink, possibly. I don't know. Six seeds. Oh my. Six seeds. Got it. Okay. Right. Oh, very well. Got it. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, let's try something else then. We'll put something else there. Six seeds. We'll put more carrots there. How about that? Perfect. Dun, 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 dun. Put it through. There we go. Okay. Do it now. Place it there. Great job. Four. Place it. Send it. Great job. Oh my god. That took way more effort than it needed to take. Hey, bedtime. How you doing, bedtime? Make some espresso. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Make some freaking espresso, right? Let's grab our key. Thank you. Get inside. Can you make some espresso in real life? <laughs> I need some espresso in real life. I tell you what. I need some. I would not be upset with some. I would be for it. I'd be all about that. Wake up. I heard a boat go toot toot. There might be tourists here. Possibly. There we go. Water that. I have some Death Wish espresso roast. That is so good. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> even though it says, like, even though Death Wish, is that what it was? Death Wish? Like, Give me some of that espresso now. Please and thank you. 
I'd be going crazy in, with espresso. In, oh my god. If I had espresso in real life, but I'm dying over here. <laughs> Death Witch's coffee is the only coffee that doesn't give me heartburn. Really? There used to be a coffee I really liked. Um, I, I, it's the, uh, it's like a blueberry coffee roast, but it's like the Knott's Berry, Knott's Berry, uh, farm coffee, I think. That's a good coffee. It's a very good coffee. I heard the tote, uh, toot of a boat. I'm checking it out. Let me see. Hello? Anything happening over here? Maybe, possibly. Now, when the tourists do come, they're going to be all sprawled out in these uh, little beds here. I guess, I don't know, sunbathing. Yeah, sunbathing. Deathwish has a blueberry and vanilla roast that is quite good. Oh, very good. Blueberry and vanilla roast. That sounds really good. I like the smell of coffee more than I like the taste of it. Not wrong there. It depends on the coffee, of course. Mostly, though, all coffee you can smells good for the most part, right? I don't think there's like a coffee out there that smells bad. But there are coffee that tastes bad. <laughs> and then there, there's some that tastes good. I think the generic store-bought coffee is probably hard to have. Um, like, you gotta get, like, some good roasted flavors going on there. For sure. Coffee ice cream. Uh, help me. What the frick? Coffee ice cream. Never heard of coffee ice cream before. That's news to me. What about, like, the, um... The Werther's. Didn't they have like a coffee Werther's? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Those hard candies? Coffee Werther's? That was pretty good. That's a good little candy. The sugar-free Werther's? I know where you're at. I want to get a boat. Let's go talk to Captain Jack. Hey, Lizzie. How you doing, Lizzie? This game looks very cute. How you doing, Lizzie? I spend an unhealthy amount of coffee amount of money on coffee. Are you the one that's always at Starbucks? Am I the one seeing you at Starbucks all the time? Coffee ice cream is very nice. See, I don't know about this coffee ice cream thing. Where is Jack? Come on, Jack. I wanna buy a boat. I wanna figure out how to oh there we go. trade iron boat okay let's see here iron boat we need three thousand dollars for the iron boat is that all we need is three thousand dollars there's an iron boat speed boat uh which was in the early access luxury boat i'm pretty sure was not in the uh early access this is new uh but iron boat uh, three thousand dollars all right so we need to get 3k so now we have a goal three thousand dollars make three thousand dollars got it we could probably sell some crops right or yeah, we should probably, since they're about to spoil. Let's do it. Let's sell some things, shall we? Yes. They're going to make you try to say, oh my god, what word is that? Which is actually that hard if you break it. It's not that hard if you break it down, but still. I don't even know what the heck that word is, and I don't even know what it even means. So I could sell you this, yeah. Good job. Sell you junk. Hopefully he like buys everything. I'll sell you my almost spoiled uh, food as well. Now I'm going to need to get some food while, while, while I run around. Now wait a sec. With the hammer I can just repair stuff. Correct? Repair. Repair. This is such a weird thing. Like why is. It's so simple and it doesn't cost anything to repair. Why is there even a repair why is there even a durability in this game? Hello, Tony. 
I'm gonna go to that chest now and open it up. That's a lung disease? Oh my god. I drink at least two giant cups of coffee a day? I need to jump on that train. I need some cup of coffee right there. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe before my next stream, I'll have I'll make myself a uh, cup of coffee. Is there controller support for this game? There is controller support for this game. Are you a fan of Coral Island? I'm obsessed. Oh, yeah. I'm a big fan of Coral Island. I like it. I like it a lot. What the heck? Antidote? What the frick? What do I need these for? For, I guess, combat, right? There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Agendas makes ice makes coffee ice cream. Really, I did not know that. We're the type of people that live. Danielle and I we're the type of people that don't have ice cream in our freezer. It's very rare that we have ice cream in our freezer. It's very rare that we eat ice cream. And the only time we eat ice cream is like if we like go to like Cold Stone or something. But we don't keep ice cream in the in the house very very often. I'm brewing coffee right now. Y'all giving me the cravings. Cold coffee or hot coffee? That's the real question. What do we prefer more? Do we prefer a cold coffee or a hot coffee? I can't even like forge that apple because the camera angle is so wonky. I feel like most ice cream places have coffee ice cream. What the frick? I argue that because then I never seen pistachio ice cream. Like I know that is a big deal. Like, oh my God, how have you not seen or had pistachio ice cream? Because all the places I go, they don't have pistachio ice cream. They have Lucky Charm ice cream. Okay. There's a chest by the lake. Head north also in the caves and mines. Very good. Good shout. Prefer hot coffee? Next time you go to Cold Stone, have a taste of their coffee ice cream. It's my favorite. I never see coffee ice cream every time I go to Cold Stone. I never see it. I think if I... If there was a coffee ice cream, I think I probably would have tried it by now. At least at my Cold Stone. They have Lucky Charms and stuff. Do y'all have Lucky Charms? Like green ice cream? I usually have a go-to, the Cold Stone. I'm a very basic person. I'm a very simple man, all right? I hit you with the uh, with the cake batter ice cream with Kit Kat put inside of it. That's it. That's all you get me. That's all you need me for at uh, Cold Stone. That's it. Cake batter ice cream, Kit Kats sprinkled into it. Never had it? You must try it. Ben and Jerry's makes really good ice coffee ice cream. Really? Ben and Jerry's also makes it too? Okay, there's the cave. Let's go into the cave, yeah? A cave. Not the cave. A cave. Ancient mines. We've been in here before a long, long, long time ago. Once upon a time, right? Very dark in here. Uh, let's go eight. Excuse me as I drink my water and eat my apple. I like my coffee like I like my husband tan and sweet. That has no temperature gauge to it. <laughs> you did not describe a temperature gauge. Oh my God, I just poisoned myself. I think that was my bad. Did not mean to do that. Now look what I've done. That's what the antidote's for. I buy my coffee ice cream at Walmart. Oh my God, next time I go to Walmart, I gotta, I gotta see. I might have to just buy ice cream for the house just because. Okay, there's a, there's a, there's a snake. There's a snake. There's a snake. There's a snake. Worm. I don't know what it is. All I know is I'm uncomfortable. Okay, let's, let's just walk out of here before I kill myself. 
I'm gonna die from poison here. Cake batter ice cream from Cold Stone is very good. Oh, absolutely. It's the it's the it's the bee's knees. It's absolutely the bee's knees. I like my coffee like I like my men ground up and in the freezer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't want to waste the antidote. That's the only thing. I didn't want to waste the antidote. I don't want to waste the antidote on my stupidity. <laughs> ah, the witch's house. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is your house, yeah? Yeah, for trade. Flowers? Hmm, who are you? You are very curious. Do you need anything? If it's nothing important, it'd be better if you come back another day. My name is Kans. I'm new here, so I'm just trying to get to know everybody. That's cool. You have a name, and apparently you are the type who likes to be the center of attention. See you around. What? You are Kans? I'm busy with something important now. Let me know when you need something that actually requires my attention. I don't even know what the heck she just said to me. Little Debbie has ice creams. Oh, you know what? I think I've actually seen Little Debbie's have ice cream. You know, Kit Kat has their own ice cream. Rolo has their own ice cream. Any Rolo fans? I'm a big Rolo fan. Anybody know what a Rolo is? I'm a big Rolo fan. Love Rolos. You told me to F off, not politely either. How am I enjoying the game? It's, it's, it feels about the same when the first time I played it in early access. Um, the only thing that I could probably see that would be different uh, would be maybe additional items and things like that, content wise. Um, there's still a lot of things in this game that just don't make sense. And I wish that would be fixed as far as like inventory management and like the beginning of the game where you can get super saturated super fast and the lack of direction for some of the things that you have to do in this game. I wish those things would get fixed. Um, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's a, it's a cool game for sure. It's definitely a cool game for sure. Rolos are good. Oh, yeah. Rolos are fantastic. I wish they were bigger. Facts. I like chocolate cheesecake. Danielle likes chocolate cheesecake. She's a big chocolate fan. She does... Okay, so... I like sweets. I don't like a lot of sweets, but I like sweets. Right? But, like, Danielle takes it to a whole nother level. She does the whole, like... Let me order the ch triple chocolate fudge freaking cake. And I'm like... Good God. Triple chocolate fudge anything sounds like a stomach ache. I tell you what. Dun, 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 dun. I want to make another chest, but I don't want to spam a bunch of chests. That's the only problem here. I don't want to spam a bunch of stuff. A basic road. That'd be kind of cool. Iron road. Office table. Office table, a stall shop, fire, small shop, uh, crafting one. Do we not have crafting one as a skill? Let me see here. Crafting. Yeah, we, well, we do. We do have crafting one. The ability to create new objects, items, and buildings level up by craft. Okay, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Yeah, 100%. We don't have the electronics. Let's see a few things that we, sh we can build. Yeah. A woman after my own heart. <laughs> I like the Snickers ice cream bars. Oh, dude. I, okay. Hang on a sec. First of all, the Snickers ice cream bars. I think those are bangers. First and foremost. A few months ago, I introduced Danielle to the ice cream Snicker bars. The Snicker ice cream bars. 
My God, dude. She fell in love with them. She got them like every day. <laughs> and then she bought like a box of them. Yeah, those, those, those are very good. Those are very good in indeed. We need brick. Okay, brick. I want to make a stove. What do I need for brick? Will this be enough? We need 20 brick. Firewood. We need more firewood. Make some more. But yeah, those those are those are very good. I agree. Those and Klondike bars. I'm a big fan of the Klondike. It was in the whistle commercial. Something about the Klondike. Dun -dun 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 Klondike. I don't know how it goes. How does the theme song go? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Got it. Figured it. Figured it out. I'm excited because Mickey D's is doing fudge and Oreo McFlurries. Wait a sec. They've always done the Oreo McFlurries, yeah? Are they bringing back a fudge? They're doing a fudge and Oreo, right? Is that what it is? A fudge and Oreo? I don't know if they still sell the fudge sundaes. Do they still sell the fudge sundaes? We might need to build another furnace if that takes... Oh, wait, no, that's done. Never mind. 11 and the and one thing I do wish is I wish you could like type in a number how many you wanted That should do good This is gonna make the stove for us eventually. I don't think you can put the stove inside the house Ghirardelli cheesecake. Oh, baby Danielle's a big fan of the Ghirardelli. She likes going to the Ghirardelli stores. She's a big fan of that It takes a while for you to get your skill up on electronics. I wish they had changed that. It was a while when, in early access, I think, too, right? Yeah. Gurudeli is very good. We live next to the hub of Gurudeli. So that's like a big deal where we live. Let's do a little bit of that. Give me a little bit of this. A little bit of that and a little bit of this water it up baby dude, when i was a kid dude the rollos they just i i feel like the rollos if you've never had a rollo do yourself a favor go to the gas station get yourself a rollo do not know if it's in other countries but if you are in the states at least or maybe in canada eva even um go do yourself a favor go to the gas station go to the store get yourself a, a thing of rollos wish they had bigger packs i'll be honest with you but like I feel like Rolos are a very underrated candy. Very underrated. Hey, Deidre, how you doing? Fudge and Oreo at the same time. Okay, you got to keep that a secret. If Danielle finds that out, she will lose her mind. <laughs> you can put the stove inside the house? Okay, very good. Good shout. I'm glad you could do that. That makes sense. A Gurudeli store, you say? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gurudeli shops and things like that? Oh, yeah. Gurudeli ice cream parlors? We've been to? Very good. Uh, copper. Iron shovel. I mean... What would be the point of getting an iron axe in an iron shovel? The durability would just last longer, but like, what's the point? If we have the hammer on us, right? It just repairs them instantly anyways. So why would I want a iron shovel? Iron axe, maybe to cut down something stronger, like a strong piece of wood or something. Iron pickaxe, maybe to take down certain types of... Um, Certain types of rocks, maybe? A better machete? Now, this is just... That's the same machete. It's not even a better machete. It's the same machete. Bug net, for whatever it's worth. Okay, let's go ahead and build ourselves the... Uh, the stove, please, and thank you. 
Right? Oh, I need wooden planks. My bad. Well, you have to find Mickey D's with a working ice cream machine, though. Oh, my God. That is so correct. <laughs> that, that screams truth as it is. That is... You're not wrong about that. That is so true. So many times you go to Mickey D's and you just find yourself like, ah, can't have ice cream today. Why? Very simple. The ice cream machine's broke. I think we put the basic stove in our house that last time too when we played in early access. Cool. Make big potions, fruit salad, egg salad, sliced fruits, mash salad, winter soup, spicy fish, uh, toasted corn, onion rings, baked fish. Cup of coffee, bottle of water, and coffee. Good, that's what we need, is right there. We need a cup of coffee right there. Excellent. Very good. Struple waffle ice cream is next level. Okay, struple waffle ice cream sounds amazing. How come I've never heard of that either? I'm not a really big fan of, of a lot of chocolate, but my wife likes it a lot. I think it's a I think it's a woman thing, right? <laughs> What's the thing you do uh, to, to make the lady happy? You get her a box of chocolates, right? At least that's what I was always told. Danielle reassures me every time, too. Trust me. Reassures me. She says, yes, I I, I like uh, I do like uh, I do like chocolate. <laughs> My city lives under a rock. We don't have any of those chocolate stores. Well, I think San Francisco, that's why San Francisco, I think, is where Ghirardelli started. So we, we live close to San Francisco, but it just has that stuff naturally. I don't think it's anywhere in any other states. Danielle, we went to an ice cream parlor, an ice cream Ghirardelli shop. And when you walk into the shop, they give you a free... Ghirardelli chocolate, whatever they're handing out that day. They give you a free one as you walk in. Then you make your order. What Sunday, what float, whatever the heck you want. That's a Ghirardelli. Ice cream. You can buy bags of chocolates. You can make, you can order ice creams or sundaes, whatever it is. Right? And then like every 15 minutes, there's like an earthquake in the store. There's like an earthquake in the store and like Things start shaking and things like that because they're trying to replicate the, I think, the San Francisco earthquake or something. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, all that stuff happens. And I'm like, this is kind of cool, dude. Then, obviously, the chocolate and the ice cream is, you know, top notch. I will sell my backpack. Thank you. Oh, I need water. Oh, wait. There's a well right here. You think I can use that? Yeah! Sick. And then I need food. There we go. Costco just had Strupa waffles on sale? What? Really? That's no fair. There was an app that would show you where the working machines were. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. They lure you in with samples. That's basically it. I've never had ice cream machine malfunctions in my state. I can get ice on ice cream on McDonald's at any time. I think it's like a population basis or it's a like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if like the ice cream machine just goes so, so far and so long and like people like abuse the hell out of it on one on some days, but it every like I'll go and they'll be like, yeah, sorry, the ice cream machine's not working or we're out of ice cream or who say some ridiculous things like that. I always use my husband as a shield so I don't get lured in. You have to protect me. Don't let my nose 
get a whiff of that nice little and let me don't let me become weak don't let me become weak My ice cream machines have become a huge meme. Ah, that's that. That's that's. There you go. I don't want to clean it, so they say it's broken. That I could see that. I could see that. Worked at Dairy Queen. Cleaning a machine is a pain. I'm a big fan of Dairy Queen, though. I mean, their food is eh, but their blizzards are good. But their bl like I mentioned this the other day. Like, you go to Dairy Queen now, at least where I live. Blizzards are like $11. I'm not paying $11 for a blizzard. No. That just sounds ridiculous. I kind of want to kill some of these uh, mobs and see if they drop anything. We can get some money going. Yeah, monies, baby. Spiky crabs. There we go. Oh, bag is full. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I've seen Strupel ice cream in the Netherlands. That with a pinch of salt and a cup of tea is so good. A pinch of salt. Love that. DQ dipped cones are good. Palm Beach? That's what the name of this place is? Is Palm Beach? Oh, there's one key. Oh, do I have a key? An extra key on me? No. There's another chest there, though. $11 is expensive? Oh, yeah. That's why I'm like, I'm not buying no... I'm not buying no Blizzard for $11. You can get a meal for that. <clears throat> Isn't like if they say you don't, if the lady or whoever gives it to you or the guy gives you a blizzard and they don't put it upside down and you say, hey, you didn't put the blizzard upside down, you get a free blizzard. Is that right? If you worked at Dairy Queen, maybe you know. Medium blizzard is the absolute best blizzard size for the toppings. Ice cream to ratio. Oh, that's a good shout. Good shout. I'll have to remember that. That's a good shout. Anybody else remember making homemade ice cream in like fourth grade? We made homemade slime in fourth grade. We did not make homemade ice cream though. For every blizzard except the banana split because that one had too many liquid toppings. Dang. Welcome to Dairy Queen. Here's your blizzard. By the way, I did not put your blizzard upside down. So you give me a free blizzard. Do you have to like call them out at that? Like even if I feel like if someone like handed me my blizzard and they didn't do like the upside down thingy. I feel like I would like. I'd be too anxious to call them out. I'd be like, I don't want to call them out and tell them how to do their job. That's just me, though. People definitely do. Is there a Rolo Blizzard? That, yeah, and yes, that's correct on the upside down. I would hope there's a Rolo Blizzard. That'd be sick. I would love that. Just put these away.
Ever did the homemade ice cream? We made shrimp chips in fifth grade. Shrimp trip chips? That sounds interesting. Sliced fruits. Only one way is like cherries and apples, right? Maybe let's see if I can get some cherries and apples real quick. We made paper in fourth grade? What the frick? People definitely do. You're also required to be able to do a little curl on the top of the ice cream cone. Like it's a condition of employment. If you can't figure it out, they let you go. Oh, dude. I'd be like, send my ass home. <laughs> F your twirl and F your cone and F your cream, baby. Send me home. Look at that. We have actually tourists here. Campfire and camp tents. Look at that. Ergon Martins. I don't know what the heck Ergon Martins are. What the heck is Ergon Martins? Al oh. Oh, is that their name? Braun Pacheco? Almir, what the hell is his name? Almir More? Alex Kick? Trinity Opa? I wonder if those are like backers' names. Like Kickstarter backers' names. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, apples and cherries, baby. Apples and cherries. I have to do the bloop, 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 curl move to get the perfect looking clone. Looks like the advertisements. What do they got going on at Dairy Queen? Is there something I don't know about? They're like some sort of like serious business contention going on there like they need to have to be perfect like honestly anybody says hey you know what do you want for dinner and then the other person says i don't care like what we have for dinner and then the other person says hey do you want to do something just like easy and the other person says yeah let's do something easy like dairy queen is not the fast food restaurant that comes to anybody's mind <laughs> Nobody says, hey, you know what? Let's just do Dairy Queen for dinner tonight. <laughs> the only time I ever, ever go to Dairy Queen on a rare occasion is if I'm like driving, if we're driving by and we're like, oh, you know what? I really have a hankering for ice cream. Let's go ahead and get some ice cream. But even that, I had to swallow my pride because I'm like, Jesus Christ, $11. I'm trying to get all the cherries and apples so that I can make this fruit salad. I don't know if it would like sell for much more or anything. <clears throat> Growing up, Dairy Queen is all we had. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I will say, we have a town uh, that I used to frequent a lot. Family used to live in. It was like a town of about 2,000 2, people. And um, they had one road in the town. One single road they had in the town. And they had one grocery store. And they had one fast food restaurant. And they had one pizza parlor. They had a round table. They had a, uh, I believe it's Topps grocery store, which if you're not familiar with Topps grocery store, I believe that's in the category of the Kroger's, Kroger grocery stores, parent company, I think. It was either Topps or if it was Ralph's, one or the other. Can't remember. Uh, but the one and only fast food restaurant they had in the entire town was a Burger King. So if you wanted to be cheap and easy in that town, you had to live it or love it. You love it or list it type thing. You got to learn to love it. You either like or want Burger King or that's all you get. The closest fast food restaurant to that town other than Burger King would, was going to be a 45 minute drive and or hour drive depending on weather. <laughs> The original chicken sandwiches from Burger King, though, they, they kind of slap. They slap me sideways. They do. 
I don't want to eat the cherry. Okay, let's see if we can cook this. Sliced. Six. Hell yeah, six of them. Let's do it. Six fruit salads. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times those cones of the ice cream dropped in the dip in the pit of, sum of summer. Tiniest bit of melt and whoop, there it goes into the tub. I miss round table pizza so much. We have quite a few. We actually are... We, I don't know if anybody... I don't know if this was a local thing or if this is like a, was a national chain or something. Does anybody know what Hometown Buffet is? Um, we used to have a hometown, hometown Buffet, but now they took out the Hometown Buffet. And they're putting a Panera Bread in. I'm making a cheesy chicken penne for dinner. Chicken cream of cream of soup, mushrooms, onions, and oregano, and pepper, and of course, penne. Super excited. That sounds delicious. I never wanted Burger King. Did I sometimes get a craving for Burger King? But Burger King sends us coupons in the mail, so maybe that's why. We didn't get McDonald's until the 1990s? Good God. I love Hometown Buffet. I used to love it too, but damn it, dude. It's out of business. No more. No more Hometown Buffet, at least where we live. It's turned into a Panera Bread. <laughs> Our Hometown Buffet was so exceptionally terrible, it must depend greatly on who runs it. Facts. Sometimes the cheap food, though. The cheap food... Cheap, terrible food is like comfort food. I, I, I believe that. You don't have to take me anywhere to wow me. I tell you what. Ours went out of business a decade ago and it's in a, it's in a state sell store now. So they didn't even replace it with a food. They just put whatever they want. You don't mess with Burger King. The guy that owns Burger King where I live. He owns, well, he's, his name's Wong. He owns uh, Burger King. He owns um, Burger King, McDonald's. He's very wealthy. I I have his pants now. <laughs> My grandma used to do uh, uh, housekeeping for his many houses. And uh, he was giving away some Lululemons. And then he's like, here, does your grandson want these Lululemons? And now I walk around and I'm like, I wear... Mr. Wong, because that's his name. Mr. Wong's Lululemons. Lemon Lulus? Lululemons? Lemon Lulus? You know what I'm talking about. Jesus Christ. Anyways, that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode of um, Spirit of the Island. If you want to see more Spirit of the Island, make sure to hit the like button. That tells me that you want to see more Spirit of the Island. And I'll bring you back some more Spirit of the Island. Uh, overall assessment... Game seems very samey as the last time we visited in early access. So if you want to see more of Spirit of the Island, um, definitely look up on the channel. We have more Spirit of the Island content for sure. Um, if this wasn't enough for you, definitely check, take a look at it. It's very the same since there's a lot of things that I wish were changed that just didn't happen to be changed, unfortunately. But um, yeah, word of the day, clunky for the most part. <laughs> $25 for this game seems a little bit high. Uh, but maybe there's more content to it than I even know, right? Uh, but yeah, let me know if you all want to see this. It's been kind of nice to revisit games that we've played before, especially when they're in full release to give them a full shot and full send and see where they have gone through the development, especially in the past months and months and months that the last time we played these games. It's always fun to come back to them and see uh, what has changed, if things have changed at all. So it's always good for that. Uh, we will be playing uh, YouTuber's Life and continuing our story in YouTuber's Life here in the next less than 30 minutes. So if you want to hang out with me then and uh, continue the conversation, we absolutely will uh, be doing that with YouTuber's Life too. So make sure to do that. Um, with that being said, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you today. Hope you all have a good rest of your day if I don't see you here soon. And um, we will uh, be getting it on with YouTuber's Life here in a bit i'm gonna go make some coffee i think yeah let's let's go make some coffee shall we let's do that yeah absolutely thank you all and i will talk to you here in a sec bye <laughs>